Do it live. We'll do it live. Greetings, everyone. Hello. It's a gay girl's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. And Gina Carano. And oh. Eric K. And it's Eric K's birthday. birthday, too? Yes. Happy birthday, Eric And Gina Carano's. And Gina, Eric K. and Gina and, Carano. And Gina. Happy birthday. What a, what a great group of people to share your birthday with. But most especially and most importantly, X-Ray Girl. X-ray girl. It's your birthday. Oh my god. I feel like I feel Woo! like I'm peeking. Okay. Look at Gina. Look at Gina. <laughs> Wait, why? This is your moment. No, it's all I, you. I, I, I mean, it's cool. Thank yeah. you. You're you're old now. I am I'm old. Too soon? I'm I'm late gay and old. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Like Only six too. minutes though. Not too bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that that's that's actually that's, on time for us, isn't it? That's pretty really good. good. Like we did FNT on time two weeks Come in on. a row. I'm getting there. <laughs> they can only do it once a week. Let's see if we can pull <laughs> yeah, pull off getting in time in Vegas. Last we were yeah, hour right. late when we were in Vegas sure. in that studio because we had we yeah. had we'll working get, things out. Geez, yeah. So oh, getting get huh? early. Uh, okay. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Forbidden Frontier. I did show the members yesterday a little snippet of our intro because, you know, why not? Nice. It looked really cool. And shout out to the members. Thank you, guys. Shout out to the members. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, we have a good one because the show I'm this might be the show I'm the most excited for this year. I, I ain't going to lie. Ah, there you go. That's hey. Someone I asked about the wood booger hat so. in the parking lot of Walmart today, Adam, because he had Bigfoot stickers all over his car. Really? And I had to go <laughs> up to him. I went up to him. <laughs> I'm like, Dude, know. these are awesome. You're Love awesome. It. You know, uh, <laughs> he was like, get away from me. Get away from me, weirdo. <laughs> you look Californian. I'm on. <laughs> oh, like, damn it. I um, am. No, uh, I'm, I, I am really excited for the secret of Skinwalker Ranch season mm -hmm. four, which premieres this Tuesday. Uh, I know Garrett has started it. Adam saw what I, I, I posted it on the community section today, which I would have done it earlier, but uh, there is a documentary that is, I think required viewing before you watch the series. If you haven't watched it called hunt for the skinwalker by Jeremy Corbell uh, yep. featuring George Knapp, who's a legend. And it really kind of sets the premise for what they do in the series and expand on uh, the documentary is very light on like what experiments they did because uh what you need to know what so skinwalker skinwalker was always weird i heard about it uh from from art bell way back in the day and i don't know if i ever believed it at first but all the ideas and stories coming from it were so bizarre i was completely into it but now that i know that our tax dollars went towards a very serious government scientific uh classified man classified uh yeah you know program there determining years. determining whether or not this uh phenomenon was a threat to national security like yeah. that's what they said it's like oh that's 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 bigger than i would have ex assumed like it could be a threat like we should we need to put tax check this in. out yeah oh wow okay and and we'll get into it but what they came away with is we don't know if it's a threat we can't apply the scientific method to it at all. But what it does tell us is that the UFO, whatever phenomenon is going on, the UFO phenomenon is much stranger, much, much stranger. Like, like most of us, when we first got into it, thought it's just little green men in space, you know, it's little grays and stuff. And it's, no, it's way weirder. And it's something we're probably, that's probably right in front of our face a lot of, a lot of the time. And we just flat out can't see it. And there's or a interdimensional in the show that kind of proved mm -hmm. that. Well, I, I'm not going to prove it, but it, it's evidence towards the that that stuff can be right in front of us and we won't see it. And it depends, certain people can see it and certain people can't. It's just a fact. So it's it's a weird thing. I love the subject and I love the show. Quarter Black, how's it going, man? It's going great. I was just watching season two, episode three, uh, when we got on the show. Uh, I'm loving the show. I love the characters in the show. It yeah. is. It is like a produced show that's dramatic and it's got dramatic music and stuff, but uh, the the experiments that they do are scientific, and it's interesting to see every time that they do one of these experiments, they get to the end and then the scientist that they bring out to do the experiment is like, 
I don't know what's going on, but something is going on. It's it's very very interesting what the hell's going on there. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to go to Utah. I think that's what I want to do. I'm like I was looking up like how do you visit Skinwalker Ranch? <laughs> like is there a way you could book? Can't. I was like, I want to book a visit. They say it repeatedly on the show and in the documentary, do not come here. Like, flat out, do not come here. Like, it's private property. They don't want people effing around. Oh, they have security there? Like, security with, like, dragon armed. Yeah, I love dragon. Dragon. He's my favorite person. He's worried all the time. (laughs) Always. Oh, yeah. Do not dig. Uh, Yes. Uh, I love dragon, but yeah. Uh, Adam, what's up, man? How you doing, bud? Good. Today was a glorious day, guys. You know why? 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 It was freaking sunny out. It was warm. Oh, I had a uh... t-shirt on outside. I did some yard work. What? Starting to see flowers sprouting everywhere. My rhubarbs are coming in. I've never actually seen man. baby rhubarb plant. Have you ever seen Mm-mm. baby rhubarb? No. They're very interesting looking, and uh, the the leaves are crazy. And and they get huge. Rhubarb leaves are massive, and I, I love rhubarb. So it's so nice to have warm weather out. And then I, I came back in and and chilled and watched this documentary. And like a lot of things that you have me watch, I end up with more questions than answers from this stuff because I I I, I knew about Skinwalker because actually Tim and I on when I was on Timcast we did an episode on the mysteries of Skinwalker, but we kind of went more along the lines of the history of what a skinwalker is as opposed to what's happening and what they're doing now there. So this, this seems to be more like focusing in on these experiments and uh, firsthand encounters of what these people went through that have owned it in the past, which was, I, I don't really understand how it's explained. I'm a logic based person. So a lot of times I, I try to logically try to figure out what, what would have gone down. And you really can't with a lot of these things that they're they're talking about. And it's like, how, how, what yeah. is it real? It makes me doubt that it's real. I just think, right? yeah, because I, I go I go into it like a in a scully kind of way. I'm trying to be discerning and figure out how these things are done. And mm-hmm. some things I can go, okay, that could be explained with maybe a bug on the lens or possibly a manipulation of like the the camera getting messed up. But then there's like legit Four bulls, four bulls people. locked yeah. in a in a freaking the, uh, the, you know shed. Like how the fuck in the did first season, four bulls get locked into a shed. Like that in doesn't the first make any season, sense. A, a, a cow just dies. They bring a veterinarian to come out there and do a post mortem, and he's like, "Yeah, there's no reason for it to die. Possibly it got so stressed that it just died." Oh death. my god! It got scared to death. And so there's like tons of stuff in here that is like, what what is going on? Oh yeah, there's there's. A, a lot more uh jeremy corbell had one of the scientists from the first documentary on a podcast about two i saw that no a month it's ago a show month right ago. Jeremy Corbell's yeah, yeah. Show? It, it, it's uh weaponized right. and uh weaponized right and and he had a lot and george had a lot of new information too uh that he hadn't talked about george knapp that he hadn't talked about mm-hmm. uh, but well, they yeah. focus more on like ufos versus the ufo stuff yeah, right. and there's it's way more than you. It's everything. It's it's called paranormal Disneyland. It's got it. it's got poltergeists. It's got UFOs. It's got uh, cryptids, dire wolves. Portals, Apparently, uh, yeah, uh, a li- dead heck? dire wolves like zombie the portal. Dire- the yeah. portal thing when they they kind of washed right over it and kept moving. And I was like, what was that? Like, how are you not going to talk about that more? They get more into it in the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Because I so want to know more the about that. Family that moved in in like '96. Is it the Shepherds? Is that their name? Or something I don't remember any names. Uh, they moved in '96. Gormans. The Gormans. They had a different name, but now it's. Oh it's, no! They, they, they've they were, they released their actual name. Yeah. Oh, okay. They reported that they saw some kind of portal open, and triangular shapes coming out of it. So that was like what they were experiencing a couple of the times. Uh, they had weird scenarios go on, but that's like one huge, of multiple different things. Paw prints. They had divots that were like scooped out of their. Yeah, we'll get right, it. Yeah, we'll get into it. We will get <laughs> yeah, the divots thing. Right. What? Eh, yeah, we'll get into it. it. It's really bizarre stuff. And there's a whole uh, thing about like not digging in the ground because every time that a dig happens, like they try to remove a stump, so they blow it happens. up or they dig it out, and something paranormal happens after that. 
So they have like a rule not to no, dig. No dig. No dig. No dig. Not dig. You dig? You die. Bad things happen. What's up, know. girl? What's up, birthday girl? All this ah, attention. I had a, a really good day. I got to play Conan, build Warhammer. Last night we went out for dinner. So I've had a very, very good day. And uh, this this documentary scares the crap out of me. This is like everything that I try to avoid. And then Garrett's oh. like, how do we go there? <laughs> I, I agree. I was how like, do we, stay how do we get x-ray there? No. That's what, that's what we really I need. I want to stay at the second homestead. Oh, no, all like literally apart. when they show the the, the heart of the property, the house, right? Like it gives me, like this is a scary movie about to happen. You're gonna die. Yeah. Don't and, be and here all, after night. And all the accounts of shit that's going on in there, you know, like the the girl, the the woman, the mother, she goes, locks the bathroom door, oh. showers, mm. gets out of the shower, and all her shits moved around. The door's yeah. still locked. It's like still locked. that's that, is, that would freak oh, me out. Oh, that, freak, that would freak there's me like, out. There's the post toe digger too that ends up yeah, forty. It's foot, like forty feet in the in, in, in How's Four that days possible? later. Like, two days how? later. What? Two days later. What? It's like uh, it's after he, bu he buys a new one, comes back and he's like, "There so it is." So we will tell you, Russ. Russ is asking, what is Skinwalker Ranch? I think that's a good place to start. Great, great question. Great question. Uh, Skinwalker Ranch is in the Uinta Basin uh, in northern Idaho, about 150 miles. I can't remember what direction from Salt Lake City. Uh, it is Utah, not Idaho. Did I say Idaho? Sorry, Utah. Uh, and it is uh, surrounded by the Ute India tribe, and it's but it's uh, it, it is it is private land private land can't go there don't go there um and it's been it was owned by the gormans in the early 90s bob bigelow took it over before uh, is it the Gorm? i want to say it's gormans but i could oh, be wrong I'll look at them um and they uh the, it hadn't been owned for seven years prior to that the family prior uh to the one that had the most experiences had experiences but they were different they were different and the experiences have changed so in the 70s the Uinta Basin has always been a, a UFO hotspot. It always has been. There's a there's an old teacher who uh, wrote a book. I'm forgetting his name now. Uh, documented all of it. So the the um, the Ute tribe tribes have tons of stories, and uh, the, the it's mainly Mormons up there. They have tons of stories that go back to Father Escalante, who was the first you know one of the Spanish settlers who went there. The background of the whole area, as far as it goes with people with uh was 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 navajo and uh the utes and they used to get along and then they didn't get along um and their lore i'm going to paraphrase this basically is in the 1800s the ute tribe had allied themselves with the american government uh the, uh they were also enslaving uh navajo so the navajo shermans uh the shermans but that's no, that's their 90, 94 to 96. And then there was from 1934 to 1994 was Kenneth and Edith uh, Myers or Mayers. Oh, yes. Um, OK, thank you. Uh, so. The Navajo put the curse of the skinwalker on the tribe. Uh, and that's that's where their lore comes from. But that's, you know. Who's, who knows, but that's probably to explain all the weirdness that's been going on forever. And it goes back. It goes way back in, in their in their, uh, in their their stories, in their myths. It goes way back, all the weird stuff. But uh, it's always been a UFO hotspot. Then in the 90s, when the Shermans showed up, it got a lot different and a lot scarier. It got uh, started getting poltergeist activity, cryptid activity, uh, giant dire wolves showing up, or just... A giant wolf that was described uh, later on as a dire wolf. Uh, the stories are crazy. And if you think the show is creepy or the documentary, read the book uh, that's co-written by jo uh, George Knapp, Hunt for the Skinwalker, it, which the documentary is based on. Because George was originally going to do a documentary on his book and uh, never got around to it. Jeremy Corbell kind of finished it off. I believe that's how he goes. So he has a lot of footage, old footage of George George Knapp doing work there 
that never saw the light of day until that documentary came out, which I believe was in 2017 or 18, about a year, a year and a half before the show. So that's why it's a good primer for the show. But this place has been a hotbed of paranormal activity. I've heard of it way back in the R Belt days. So I've I've known about it. Uh, after the Shermans uh, had enough problems, they they sought help and they got it from Bob Bigelow. Bob Bigelow ends up buying the ranch. The Shermans hang around for a while. Uh, and your tax dollars funded a, a major a, a major program there to study it. And as Adam said, to see if it was uh, a national security issue. Uh, but it goes way deeper than that because they brought in like legit scientists. This was a legit, uh, Harry Reid was behind this. This is a lot, of, a lot of the A-tip money went towards this. Uh, and they initially went there to go study UFOs and they found out that they were dealing with something completely different, completely weirder. Uh, and long story short, they, they ended up, Bigelow ended up selling it to uh, uh, the, the guy, Brandon Fru Frugal. 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 <clears throat> who uh, is on the secret of Skinwalker Ranch, but he sold it who, to him only if he would continue the experiments. Um, because they walked away going, there's definitely something going on. We cannot apply the scientific method to it, though. It's too random. It's too weird. There's too many things. Uh, it changes. It can anticipate like what they're going to do. If they're going to point a camera in a certain direction, the shit will happen off camera. You know, yeah, it, it's it, just it, off camera. Well, what I do like about the camera. show is they go into it more with the scientific testing and it's not like they can't apply it because they apply the scientific testing and they prove that there is something happening. But they don't know why that something is happening. Like there are fields of, uh, of like energy. Uh, there's like gravitational pulls in areas. There's uh, like well, in the story, in the actual documentary, when they talk about the, the bulls getting moved into that, pin and that whole line getting magnetized for a while uh so it's just like they have they prove that there's something weird happening but they don't know what the cause exactly is and that's what's really interesting to me is like what is the cause the root cause because yeah like you're saying like there's so many different aspects to it that i find fascinating yes yeah. there's <laughs> ufo thing so it could be it could be flying saucers or it could be optical uh, shifts in the atmosphere you have geological things that are going on you have like the the whole the side what, what is that the it's like a it's not a mountain it's like a the mesa a ridge. there mesa that ridge yeah it's a uh, it like ridge. lights up sometimes so it's like what the hell is going the on here things that happened when a uh, fugal took over is the ridge a 500 foot section of the ridge and they got it on camera, like just illuminated. Like there was a light shining on it, except there was no light shining on it. And they're like, what the hell? It's um, like stuff like that, that I, I've got to, I would, I need to see to believe it's hard to like, well, if you trust accept. the instrumentation on the TV show, there's, a, there's weird magnetic anomalies. There's a uh, gamma radiation spikes that are almost dangerous. Oh yeah, you have to be careful. Um, there's cold spots that they that move, cold spots yeah. that move, and they so like that. That's that's some of the weird stuff. But we, we probably want to start it with uh, the documentary, which kind of gives you uh, the Shermans, like some of the weirdest story from the Shermans, which is the big dog is the is one of the, yeah. the, the dog and the bulls are the two probably weirdest stories that yeah. you that they have. They don't have any photo photography of the dog but they do later on in the show one of the security guards shows a paw print a giant paw print of of a of a canine yeah with, that has like three foot strides so it's it's massive big ass um it's my understanding that he petted that it. it like the dog came up yeah was, like he pat him nice. on the head i was like there's no way in hell that was their first if there was a dog there. that big i would not be petting so, that so the shermans get a there wolf? they move out of uh, they move out of New wolf. Mexico. Yeah, no way. The Shermans get there. They move out of New Mexico. They're there for three days. And what they bought this ranch to get to, um, they, they, they don't like being around people. They were in the small town and that was too much for them. So they wanted to be in this nice ranch in the middle of nowhere. And they wanted to raise, you know, like prize cattle, basically. Uh, and um, they were just about, they hadn't 
they had a couple of calves there at the time, but they hadn't had brought in their cattle yet. So this is in the first three days and they're chilling by their truck or whatever. <clears throat> and, uh, this dog, what looks like a dog just walks across the cow pasture, across the field towards them. And they can see like, this thing's immense. It's giant. It's gray. It's got uh, bright blue eyes and it comes up to the, to, uh, the dad and, uh, it looked pretty tame. So they, he pet it. He's like, pet it. But this thing like came up to hear on him. That's sick. That, 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 that makes me nervous. Dude. That that normal up. dog. So have they you ever seen it, a bull mastiff in real life? Those yeah. fucking dogs are huge, huge. as shit. They're like yeah, they ponies. Are. So maybe something like that size. So maybe they, th they thought it got away from another ranch or something like that. They weren't thinking much of it. Uh, but then one of the calves gets curious, sticks its head through the fence and then, Boom, the, the giant wolf gets the calf's head in its mouth and just won't let go. So uh, uh, Papa Sherman and his son uh, go get, uh, he has a baseball bat. One of them has a baseball bat. They start hitting it, doesn't work. And then he sends the son in to go get his 357. Son comes out with 357. He pops three fucking shots, oh. and four shots in the thing. Four shots, doesn't, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't recoil. Still didn't it, work. Didn't, yeah, make, didn't doesn't work. make a sound. Doesn't do anything. It's screwed up. Sends them back in. To get the 30 out six rifle, which could uh take down an elk, what they say at, at uh 100 yards. I, you know, I'm I don't shoot these things, so I don't know. I can't remember what the, the pretty far and uh shoots it from 20 feet and flesh comes out, but it still doesn't recoil or make make a sound. But it finally backs off, it backs off the cat cow, and it just kind of starts trotting off. They go after it and it just this is weird it, mm -hmm. they, they follow it through some trees which they can see it moving and they saw that it went across there's a creek that goes around the property it went across the creek uh they saw footprints on the other side that just stopped and they never saw it again they never just saw creepy. that the wife sees one later but it might not be the same one we're not sure but they never see it again uh they go back they pick up that piece of flesh and it looks uh at the beginnings of decay yeah, they said it was like gray and beginning to decay. My theory on it could be rabid. I don't know. Because, like, you know, rabid dogs and, like, they, they wouldn't get walk up to them and, and just shit. chill. That's they wouldn't true. walk up to them and be like, pet me. Oh, oh, there's there's another animal that I would be interested in eating. No, a <laughs> rabid dog would friggin' rip them all apart. Interesting thing. Now, a lot of, oh, okay. So there had been no wolves. The last wolf in Utah was killed in like the 30s. And they reintroduced some wolves in Idaho after this incident. It was a couple years after, uh, which was very controversial. And I think they even mention it in Yellowstone, the show Yellowstone. But they, uh, um, so th th supposedly there's now could one survive and be around you? Yes, that that could. But that, that, that thing was giant. They said its head came up like it's it came it's up like the size of a horse, horse they said car, they basically yeah it was the size of a pony it was freaking big so um, uh, so it's hold on so a skinwalker for those who don't know like what an actual skinwalker is it's a it comes from the navajo and it's essentially a witch that's able to transform into an animal mm -hmm. kind of like a, an anamorph if anyone remembers yeah. animorphs remember animorphs yeah mm -hmm. i read those as a kid anyway so but this is the evil evil animorph right and yeah, they, they would one. they would turn into this dire wolf so i mean i'm not saying I'm, i believe it, it was some sort of a, a cursed witch or something that turned into a wolf that for some reason was cool with them and then didn't actually attack them when they shot it or hit it with a baseball bat it was just trying to eat this calf for some reason um and then just kind of trotted away what I want to find is the original account of that story because we're hearing it in the documentary through this other British dude, and I want to I want to read the actual pretty account. close. The original account is in Hunt for the Skin Skinwalker book. Yeah, I got to read that. It's very close. I just but the book it. just gets it way more into detail. You just bought it. Uh, it gets yeah. there's, there's an audio book of it too. Uh, so it gets more into detail and it kind of gives you like the you know they talk about like how they were feeling. You know, at the time, like yeah. fine, they were first fine, but then the wife was like, oh, my stomach's getting a little tight there. Let's get the kids a little closer. Let's get them away from this thing. Mm. And uh, for good reason. For good yeah. reason.
but but yeah with the skinwalker stuff i you know i find it very hard to believe somebody can uh can change and you know be a be a skin change even a skin changer uh, agreed from, uh, i find it hard to believe as well but uh if you want to get pretty weird uh weird. there's magnetic magnetic anomalies and what if there's just a tear in the fabric of space time and it's just a you mentioned something wolf wandering you something before the show you, you said your son your son said something interesting and he did so why don't you give us that yeah because yeah, I, I heard a little bit but i want you to tell the story so he's like my son asked me hey uh the the check asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs how far was it from the bermuda triangle well it's pretty far it's in the vicinity it's in the you know but it's far right it's far and he's all well what if meteor impacts can create uh the magnetic anomalies and i'm all well that's interesting son because they do hmm. they do and travis uh travis taylor the the scientist uh found out i think it's season two where um that's a giant that's an ancient meteor impact that's the Unto the basin. basin yeah that the, there was an ancient meteor impact there which could do a lot we're the, skinwalker the ranches people. we're skinwalker ranches yes hmm. and it was a it's it's millions of years old and it was big it was huge so it's before you know it i don't think it's quite pangea time but uh it, it's it was you know before the continents look like they do today for sure okay but it still happened there uh and think about okay just go on pop culture for anybody who's out there. Think about like what Stephen, some of Stephen Moffat's favorite stories were. Think about some of Douglas Adams. Uh, if you ever read Dirk Gently or uh, City of Death, which are very similar stories or um, The Empty Child. Uh, Stephen Moffat really loved ancient technology that had been sitting around that just went haywire. Like in The Empty Child, it was the Chula warship and it had these nanobots that would heal people but um it was it wasn't used to the human race so one crashed uh right around world war ii it found a dead child with a gas mask on and it just thought every human looked like that so that's why it starts sorry to spoil the episode for like, but it started that's why it started changing everybody into like uh, where the gas mask would become part of their face and all they would say is have you seen my mommy because that was basically or are you my mommy because that's, that's all the, 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 there wasn't enough creepy. kid super creepy shit but it's technology gone haywire, uh, and and in Dirk Gently they make it uh, like an ancient ghost, you know, uh, who was trapped in prime prime uh, primordial Earth, uh, who had been there for millions of years waiting. Uh, it, so yeah, it's it's like that new movie that's coming out, sixty five. Yeah. So what if it looks good? I'm excited to see that actually. What if it's movie. ancient technology? What if it's just uh, ripping the space time fabric? What, is it portals Th there? Yeah, what if it's like a magnet magnetism in the earth or something? It's a weird anomaly area that fucks with people's brains and the way they perceive reality. So like that's why it affects people differently. So when they show up and they they're looking for a UFO, they see a UFO, or when they see. Uh, you know, whenever it's more of like a spiritual thing and the Indians are there and they see their gods or some kind of the skinwalker, they see that because that's what's in their brain and the weirdest footage reality in the documentary. Uh, I don't think they paid enough attention to was the security cam footage of those two buildings that just went that kind of fade in and fade out. I don't know if you remember that part, no. but uh, yeah. So what it looked like was remember the uh, that that weird it's 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 real it's a it's a natural thing it's has something to do with reflect uh, reflection but those cities in the sky in the clouds they look like they have buildings that happened in china a couple times yeah, yeah. um it looked kind of like that except it was on the ground it was on the ground and it looked like two buildings kind of slightly faded in and faded kinda out like in the middle mirage. of the pasture like a mirage uh they caught that on camera and they they've the show and and they also caught some stuff in the documentary the show has caught lots of uh, UFOs. We'll say unidentified flying objects to like little floating orbs that are the size of a volleyball to straight up. They look like a flying saucer uh, to the weird shit with the helicopter. Weird. Uh, weird. Just My saucer, saucer is like right when you said that it was like, ah, I'm out. Yeah. They're talking about me. You're going to chill. I, it, yeah. I always have to set mine up because I knock it over. Come and on. you have to get that center right, that magnetic center right. Perfectly centered. 
He's got it. I haven't done this in a while. Hold on. Use the force. The base has to be like really flat. There you go. You got it. Oh, I know. I've been doing this for a few years. Yeah, yeah. I've knocked it down. Many <laughs> I love that thing. I got yeah. one of them. It's behind my monitor. You can't see it. Same thing. Same one. Oh no, it's a knockoff. It's fucking. I don't think I can get the same thing. I just got. I off. don't think. I mean, I don't. Is there a knockoff? I think. I don't think this is real. Well, mine's black. Oh, okay. That's a knockoff. It's the a knockoff. real ones are silver. Yeah. Mm. This is We're the only stealthy, one, though. by the way. <clears throat> yeah. All others that are on other people's show are uh, imitations. Just Sam. Sam. I'm not talking about anything in particular. Nothing what? specific. Just, just Sam. Just a general. Yeah, what general. Else? Whatever's going on at Skinwalker, it's got an intelligence behind it. And like, it's not just me saying it. This is like um, veteran scientists who came in as skeptics walked out of that place going, some won't even ever talk about it. They got so spooked, they will never talk about it again. They can, but a lot yeah. of it uh, is is classified too. One thing that George, ne Je oh, go ahead, X-Ray. I was about to say, one of the things that really creeped me out too was when they said that it follows you off the property yeah that's weird yeah uh and something that george knapp said kind of stuck with me i think it's in your brain something he said it's not just the ufos it's not just this paranormal stuff all of the stuff it's connected somehow and and they, they all kind of happen around the same time and it's like all these different things are happening and, and it makes me think of george uh, uh um uh, Mr. Dr. Hawking, yeah, he talks about the multiverse, right? And how yep. it, it exists. And he wrote a whole paper trying to prove it that, you know, prove the multiverse, that it's actually a thing, that there's diff different bubbles of universes out there uh, and an infinite amount of them. Now, I, I'm not saying I believe it, but let's just humor this um, theory, who, right? Who's, you know, the Weinsteins? Uh, yeah, the two brothers. I can't Brett. remember which brother it was. There's Brett and who else? Eric. Eric. Eric, Eric. sounds right. Yeah. Eric. He was on Joe Rogan just talking about uh, Eric uh, Bard, who's on the, on the Skinwalker show. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joe was like, "What do you think of this?" And and I thought he was just gonna poo poo it. He's all, "No, no." Some of the people, like Eric Bard, he he talked about some theory that I, that I can't even remember. He's like, "There's only a few people in the world who even understand this theory." This guy understands this theory. They have like legitimate people, very serious people working on this. <clears throat> and there's there's something to it. We have no idea. Uh, I thought that the most interesting thing is that scientists they talked to in the documentary at the end, he's like, the one thing we learned is the scientific, the scientific method, you know, while it works for us for to figure out Earth, like it's it works for us very, and I'm going to paraphrase what he says, very three-dimensionally, right? And we have like a minimum four dimension problem here uh, that there's something that mm -hmm. just the scientific, he said the scientific method won't work with this. We can't get mm -hmm. it to repeat. Uh, and, and again, and it seems to anticipate us and it's always That's the weird part. The always thing. Uh, he, he's all, it's not just different. It's like almost opposite end of the spectrum different for each thing. So you'll get a UFO and you'll get, uh, okay. So the Sherman, the Sherman's the wife was coming home from work one day and she gets to the gate. She closes the gate. She gets in her car and there's a giant wolf again. Uh, don't know if it's the same one. They never really say it in the, in the book, uh, but it walks up to her car and it, and its head has to lean down to look at her in the window. What? Just, like, just looks at her in the window, but it's with two dogs, but there's something wrong with these dogs. They're, they're big, but their heads are giant. Like, like disproportionately way off from their body. It's, it's like, not a breed she's ever seen before. And she just took off like a smart person. She, she's like, fuck this. Fuck this. Yeah. And I'm out. And, uh, and, and talked about it and was going to go. She went to the tribal council going, hey, could you keep your wolves off our property, please? And they're like, we don't have wolves. There's no wolves here. They don't exist here. They haven't existed here since the 30s. Oh my God. And she's freaking out. And then, then the poltergeist activity starts with her and it starts with groceries. She'll the grocery put, thing. Put groceries away. They're back on the table. She'll 10 put minutes later. Out, it's in the refrigerator. 
um, uh, I, the stuff I, I, in the I, shower, and then it happens to the uh, Mr. Sherman. He's out there with the post hole digger. It disappears. The pair of pliers disappears. Uh, chainsaw disappears, never to be seen again. They found the post hole digger 40 feet up in a tree two days later. So they're 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 getting seriously freaked out, but they you know they're afraid to tell anybody. They're going to sound crazy. They love they don't want to give up this land they just bought. You know they're let's just be honest this business. Let's be let's be honest. It does sound crazy. It, it does. It does. All the shit oh, doesn't yeah. sound like it's true. None of it does. Mm-hmm. So uh, the average person is going to hear this stuff and be like, "I need to see some proof." Because I would love to see some proof, I which is why proof. I want to see this these the seasons that you're telling me about. Because I watched this documentary today, and I'm like, this is kind of unbelievable, right? I, I don't. It's hard to believe this. Now I saw the the wall of the shed get not kicked in, or the hole that was there, because the mm-hmm. the bulls started freaking out once the guy started yelling. Um, I mean, this is a but different... that that can be explained by like animals behavior. That makes why sense. were they in there? What did they or did they can, kick it from yeah. the outside? Well, they had that, that, you can't again, get like more bulls in that, in that small of an that animal. That is a story ahead, that a human told, you right. know. So it's like I need to see this right. myself. Exactly. I need to they have pictures of right like after this. the event, like the bulls that shows the bulls' injuries and stuff, right? Yeah, but what happened was these prize bulls who are yeah. 2,000 pounds each, huge bulls, massive bulls, and they like they look mean, they're just all we could be probably even yeah. find a picture. Um they took off for 30 minutes no 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 before that hold on hold on before that you're missing an important part they were talking about these bulls they were sitting as a family talking about how important these bulls were bulls are, yes yeah. if they lost these bulls they're they, it's on their, their business minds, you could their say. business would be fucked there they would lose the farm like all the shit they were talking about it and right after that that happened that then this this went down Go something ahead. that is on their mind Manifests and Manifested. happens. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. For the has I feel like it has something to do with the pictures, um, the what people take there in their minds, people. and it. Manifests. So right, so right so after this, see. right after this, they walk outside, and the bulls are gone from their pen. I mean, it's like a fairly large pen, but you could see all of it from one from where they were, and they're like, "Where did these bulls go?" And they start freaking out, and the the f- head father like figure whatever farmer guy jumps over one of the fences and starts looking and then there's a shed that's locked with the freaking thing down padlock down he unlocks it opens the door all four four bulls are inside of this locked shed that was locked from the outside and he's like and he looked at them and they were in some sort of like comatose state he said like they weren't moving they weren't freaking out and then he started yelling like, "I found them! I found the bulls!" And they they kind of like roused from their dizziness or whatever their dazed state, and then started freaking out. They're like, "What the hell are we doing in here?" And then started kicking, and they I guess they kicked one of the walls down, um, and then they were able to get them out. Okay, these these are the prize bulls. Those are That's the bulls. it. That's the picture. Thank you. You know what? I googled this perfectly. I like, and they won't show you anything. And this picture is anything. So here's here's the picture of the bulls afterwards. By the way, that's just a mean looking bull. He just looks like he, bulls are scary, you know. Well, he if this he happened right him. after, he's probably pissed that he was, you yeah, know, shoved in a little tiny shed, and it was a yeah. small shed. It was. Well, I mean, really for a shed shed standards is is pretty big, but for four like full grown bulls, like and that's kind of great. The scientist in the documentary says over and over again, there is no way you could get one bull in here, much less. Exactly. Four. Right, right, right. No now, there's no. no proof that all four were in there. It's not like there's a picture of all of the bulls that are in there at one time. And you said it was locked, right? It was locked from the, from the outside. outside. From the outside. Yeah. Because I could see bulls running in, maybe, and like just getting like all four smashing themselves in. I mean, but they'd, they'd, have, to, they'd, have, to get, they'd have to get they... out of their corral into the next into one. Into the other one. To yeah. then go into this place. And this is just one of the many stories. This is just the weirdest one where they have some. And like, you know, they digitize this and have put it through After Effects, too. So, I mean, that's why it's a little blurry. The other bowl's a little blurrier in the back. Because they actually have it slow motion. kind Because, of, you know, Jeremy Corbell likes to. I mean, it, I, I like the style of his documentaries. It moves. It's creepy. There's good music in them. 
for oh, yeah. sure. Um, atmospheric. Let's get you in the mood. Atmospheric. Uh, but it, again, it's just one of the weird stories, and they have no connection. So, and we, we so we know so little from the Bigelow thing. Like they, they even talk about it over and over again in the show. It's like, you know, we know what they've told us, and he's had a couple of people on. But it's super vague what they say because they're obviously not allowed to say anything for whatever reason. I mean, the government classifies stupid shit sometimes that like if they told us it wouldn't matter, but it just it gets, you know, because of the bureaucracy. And then there's secrets. And I love what George Knapp said in the documentary. He's all people say you can't keep secrets. Bullshit. Yes, you can. Yeah. This, this government can. Do uh, I was laughing. I laughed at that yeah. part. <laughs> He's all absolute bullshit. Yes, you can. Abs. Uh, part of the the secrecy is shrouded in bureaucracy and incompetence. That's part of it. That's part of the whole deal. Is yeah, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of government offices that are completely incompetent and bureaucratic, and those aren't the ones keeping the big secrets. Okay, and they are shrouded in the, and it's always has you have that reasonable doubt. That reasonable doubt, like the government will come out and say, yeah, we classified a bunch of stuff we shouldn't have. Now, did they, did they really want to tell us that? Or are they just saying, ah, classified so stuff, not that important. So have you, have you seen them release? Leaking it about Ukraine, but uh, that too. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen them release a lot of these classified documents? Because they do it like every year or so. Of like yeah, old, old ones that get, ease, and it sometimes some people, I don't think it's any of the real shit. No, it's all redacted. I mean, really anyway. important stuff. They're probably not gonna <laughs> right release, but a lot of it is. I mean, sometimes it's good stuff in there, but then sometimes there's just like, oh yeah, we like investigated this thing and it like wasn't anything. Well, you don't know what to so believe. Get, a lot of it's yeah, it's so hard to because it's so vague to which what is what. Yeah, well, like the majestic twelve documents. People still question if they're real or not. Like, how the fuck do you know? <laughs> you know what, what documents did you say? Majestic what twelve. What's the majestic twelve? No, the majestic uh, it was an organization. It was a group of military gen- commanders. I can't say it's all generals uh, that were put together by, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, Eisenhower, one of the presidents, Truman Eisenhower, uh, to oversee the UFO, UFO, UFO investigations, the secret one, hmm. not blue book. Uh, but they FBI were FBI records, the majestic 12. Yeah. 1988 to FBI. Jennifer Lawrence was in the Majestic 12. You're right. Oh, okay. Jim. No, she, she was, was she was in Majestic One. She was the Majestic <laughs> One. Yeah. For very first. Well, yeah. I mean, like, I think I think the last three years, I think the last oh, this is a three years have probably about. opened a lot of people's eyes to how much they lie to us and bullshit us and, yeah. and what they will gaslight us for. Uh that to also into makes illegal me... wars and it uh, also okay. makes me uh, skeptical of literally everything, not oh, just the things that we see from the government. Like I can't even what, talk what about document- on this platform when I am skeptical of. I'll just say, if I'm going to be skeptical that. of a certain jab, I'm going to be skeptical of other certain jabs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it or expands all jabs. now. Mm-hmm. Or all politicians and pharmaceutical companies and government. Oh, the pharmaceutical and- companies is FBI have our best gun. interests at heart. Oh yeah, absolute best interest at heart. They do. Majestic Twelve and your wallet. Got? This is the document, Majestic Twelve, on the FBI website. Vault.fbi.gov. Heavily redacted. Heavily redacted. Yeah. Twenty-four pages. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do we know? Bogus. Uh, Bogus. Now, you know it's it's probably real then. For secret majestic eyes only. See that on the top? <laughs> it's great. I don't have to look into that. Majestic 12 is old school UFO stuff. That's a, that's another another conversation. That's a whole about. other show. That's yeah, a whole other show. We should do a show on that. We should. But uh, I've never heard of this ever. So Bigelow is, Robert Bigelow is a billionaire from las vegas entrepreneur uh who just is a huge ufo nut like us um he's been called everything under the sun by other ufo investigators see like 
that's where you can like really pick out the charlatans in uh, in the UFO field when they start getting threatened by somebody who has resources who just wants to know the truth is not looking to make like he's already got all the money in the world like like he just wants to know if these things are real uh george knapp talked about like how all the shit that bigelow has been called uh and just because he worked with the government and uh everything bigelow's done i think has been pretty up and up uh you know he worked at he like, he was never i they, they, they called him all kinds of shit in the uh, but yeah, and I told the story to to Adam and what George Knapp says in the documentary, he offered the UFO community a million dollars. They're always bitching about not having money. We're talking move on. Yeah, that's right. He was it's just like, like, well, here, not enough resources. So you would be able to put boots on the ground. You get a sighting. You will well, put you on a fucking plane. We'll fly you over there. You'll have boots in the ground within 24 hours. I'm going to give you a million dollars to start this. You guys just need to get along. And they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. So for the record, if, sir, you would like to hire us to be your U UFO team on the ground, we were, will be there with bells on. We get along already. So We do. Okay. Yeah, we, we already got that. Get along got that with anybody uh, in the UFO field, uh, you know, I would highly recommend Richard Dolan coming along at any time. Uh, but, yeah, they, they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. And it's a lot to do with, like, absolute charlatans like david wilcock fucking total charlatan um but yeah you know so i think i think we're moving into a new era of this where it's getting a little more grounded uh and sure there's still people who just don't believe it and think it's uh it's an op and na 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 nah. uh that doesn't get us any closer to the truth and what you do is you just discern uh, what you think is as real as can be. It looks like the door is closing on it. looks like we had a little crack open the door when they leaked that footage from the Nimitz. Uh, and in the Pacific. And yeah. And now it's closing, like two, two or now three years ago. closing again. So we had a moment, uh, but it's gone. I think it's, it's gone. I don't think we'll ever get disclosure. I think, uh, I think we're going to find out it's something just, it's going to turn ufology on its head. And I think skinwalker might do that uh, or skinwalker could just be a really really bizarre magnetic anomaly that that's what i think that's like, my theory really really uh like there's there's i mean that happens a lot I mean, of things, can, can theory, occur, i have two theories on it yeah. I, have, I have a theory that it's, it is either some kind of strange geological uh phenomenon that affects people's perception of reality Mm -hmm. Or it is a series of people going in with expectations of something weird happening and something weird happening. Those are my two. Uh, but I, I'm leaning more towards there might because back to the fact of them bringing scientists there to check things out and weird stuff. They have confirmed is going on. They just don't know why. So I feel like it might be something closer to the geological effects. I'm not sure but what, think what geological be. effects would cause a a cow to be splayed out and, and like drained of blood. Yeah. And they, they do have some images of that kind of stuff. And I'm like, wow. No, that, calf, that calf was crazy. So yeah. Right. And uh, and then they, they even tested. They're like, we went to that same spot and like pour, poured blood, poured out. blood out, like yeah. got blood. Yeah. And, and it, then they tested put it how there long it would to take to see. And like a week later, it was still bloody. Like it was still. But then I kind of go was, in that in that situation. I go like, back to this, and I'm like, well, is this a story? So are these stories being told by humans that are trying to bring people right interest into our? Right. We is bought it, this land. All bullshit. We this this family bought a land, and they went, okay, well, what could be interesting? There's stories about this land being paranormal, so let's just hype it up and say there's like, para okay. there's there's ghosts, so what, and then what, the next what people do come. The, what and then do the Shermans thing. get out of it by do by doing that? I don't know. We're talking about. Them. Didn't they? Didn't they sell their that property to they a they rich, they were rich, rich millionaire? They were they were they anonymous them. up until about 2016. They but were they probably, probably still sold it for a pretty penny, didn't they? They bought to it Bigelow to Bigelow. Oh yeah, exactly. Which, which Bigelow rich, is already into paranormal stuff. So exactly. Rich dude comes so in and buys. What do they have to get so out of it? I mean, they my, sold it to some rich doing. dude. For then the rich dude walks away going shaken from it they talk about it he doesn't like talking about it he can't talk about a lot and he said he was fundamentally changed from that place 
So and yeah, I mean, what Garrett, what Garrett said, science, what Garrett like, said. I'm I'm going back to what Garrett said. It's a got the story from a human being. Well, a lot of this is until we May, started seeing. Yeah, that's why I think. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. A rich guy who finally makes a purchase who does that not it doesn't pan out and there's absolutely nothing there would be shaken by that, wouldn't he? Just I think he could also out. be shaken by the like I'm saying what he what he brings to it, right? He's he's going there to see something, and maybe there's something there that he does like the. Like I I I feel like it's a little column A column B right so there is something that's happening there we've proven that there's weird shit going on the the sky around it it fucks with uh, equipment and all that stuff so there's legitimately something going on so there's a little bit of that then humans adding on a paranormal aspect to it and going some people say it's it's ghosts some people say it's aliens some people say it's this that right so that they're coming there with not necessarily an agenda, but with their what they've grown up to believe in and what they what they think is possible, and then this happens, and then whatever is happening that's there that is possibly a natural phenomena interprets the brain interprets that as well, a ghost or an alien or I know. think most paranormal things are a quote unquote natural phenomenon that we just don't understand. We can't get our head exactly. Around. I think one hundred percent. That's what it is. Monkeys. So Robert Bigelow is a billionaire. Uh, a lot of billionaires are cheap as fuck, uh, and they will lowball you. That's why they're billionaires. So uh, we it, that same argument can be made. It's a rich guy, but he's just curious. He didn't make, he didn't plaster this anywhere. He didn't do it. Like you could be way more suspicious of Brandon Fugel, who was making a TV show about it, but not <laughs> Robert true. Bigelow, who kept most of the research uh, class for decades. Won't fucking talk about it to his 20, a friend of 20 years, George Knapp, unless he's like straight up pulling teeth about it. And he could have just said, here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some money for the land. Maybe he felt sorry for the Shermans, but he's not going to overpay because he's a billionaire. Uh, you know, you don't become a billionaire by uh you know uh spending your money like andrew tate you know you like you, you become a billionaire uh by being a cheap ass mofo uh having been raised by one of the cheapest people i know my dad so <laughs> 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 oh those old school guys man uh, they held on to it like because well because probably because my dad was poor and it was uh, probably worth worth something back then yeah, <laughs> and, the, yeah. and the great depression wasn't that far off and in- oh conscious but uh yeah i mean be suspicious i mean I, i'm suspicious of anything that's a reality show but the thing is uh brandon fuel at the end of that documentary was really wary about his name being attached to anything when he bought the property at first uh because he has other businesses that it could affect like mm-hmm. greatly affect. like look at this wacko you know um but i think they've got enough like weird evidence to show that there's something weird. I have no answer for what it is. I, I don't, not even close to, I I've heard the, there's weird shit that I've heard that I don't believe happened there. I think the portal's like really tough, tough one to believe. Yeah. But two people, right. saw it. one of them was a scientist and one of them saw it through uh, the night vision. Right. So they were looking through, I think it was night vision goggles. So one guy who's not looking through the night vision goggles, this is during the time the Shermans owned it. They see uh, an orange light above a road that starts expanding. And that's all they see. Dude with the night vision goggles sees a humanoid thing crawling through it. Oh, that's right. That that story. Yeah. It's creepy. And run off in the middle of the night. And you're like, well, what's it want to be there for? Well, I mean, why are all the UFOs in the middle of nowhere? I think if 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 it is real, then it has to be something to do with uh, magnetic anomalies, uh, 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 the gamma radiation there, possibly. Uh, maybe, again, it's like a weak point in space-time continuum where just things bleed through, uh, which we haven't proven, but, like, who knows? Well, you kind of set, set up perfectly for what I was kind of talking about earlier when I brought up Hawking and the multiverse kind of vibe. What if this this point here in Utah, maybe when it was struck by whatever hit Earth a million millions of years ago, whenever it the the impact happened, it created some sort of singularity spot that yeah. other it, like 
sure you the ufos appear in the middle of nowhere on our planet but like maybe earth in a different dimension another another universe it's or you know whatever it's actually the center spot where there's like a portal that everyone is like all right this is where this is where we go to get the the blood that we need to like do this to, you know to create food for everyone and they go in and grab some cows <laughs> like, I, I don't know i mean just like it, it, seems, it, it seems obnoxious when you say it out loud but i i, I don't know i don't really have a, i'm just kind of like how do you yeah a, a picture all of the all of the stories and all of the events how do you connect all of those together with, yeah, like, cattle with mutilation is a tough one it. yeah, it's weird it's really fucking weird because if we have so much photographic evidence of cattle mutilation from from you know it could be a wild animal because they're pretty fucked up to no a scalpel was used to cut off this ear. Yeah, it was uh, perfectly right, yeah. clean. No like blood. a cleaver, cut. cut the arms. We're not just it, talking it, about skinwalkers. It wasn't it's a wild. dire wolf okay. ripping that ear off. It no. was like a yeah. perfect clean cut. That doesn't make any sense. What then, I like, need, how do you connect ahead, all these right. different things that make no yeah, sense? I like, used to believe it was us. I used to believe it was us because we did tons of nuclear testing in the West, in the West, mm -hmm. in, in Nevada. And what better that and and like a lot of the cattle mutilations, like their uh, their private their buttholes are cut out and their lips mm. are cut off, their tongues are cut off. Well, this is softer tissue that would be more susceptible to radiation, and maybe they're just testing all the fallout and radiation that was absolutely flying all over our fucking country when we were yeah. like lighting off, you know, we were setting off nuclear bombs in Nevada, and mm -hmm. wherever the wind was blowing, well, Utah, you know, fucking Wyoming, all those places. Got yep. covered in that shit. So I thought it was us for a long time. But then, like, this one, that ca that calf we're talking about. So the story goes that uh, somebody saw an agitated, somebody saw the calf alive, went away, came back, mom's agitated. She's running, the, the cow's running back and forth across the cow pasture. And they come across this calf, and it's basically a skin and a spine. That's all that's left. And they were gone for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. There's no blood. The that's ear weird. was that's chopped off with like with a it had to be a scalpel. And they've got video of this. They're showing like there is no no blood at all. And it's just this, it's spread eagle. Um, and there would be blood. There would be blood. Uh, and it and the weird part is it's it's laid out almost ritualistically. Like it was spread eagle and it was really bizarre to see that. And it's not the only cattle mutilation. It's uh, the Shermans it had lost a, a dozen head of cattle. So they were starting to freak out. That was all their money, you know, and two or three would be really strange, but you could say, okay, those are animals. Those are, you know, whatever. Coyote. I don't know what can take out a cow, but we'll just say mountain lion, something like that. Sure. Little, but his skin was intact, though. No I mean, animal's intact. gonna do that. No intact. blood. That makes no sense. Or the blood thing, yeah. Yeah. Dracula. I mean, like half an hour, like to even the bleed out a creature, you probably do need half an hour to do that. So the cow that dies at Skinwalker Ranch in the show, that you see, you see it dying in the first Just episode. Like <clears throat> they got it on video of it dying. That like it went off. It separated itself from the from the uh, from the herd, the herd, and it yeah. laid down, and it started acting weird, and it lifted its head up, and right when it lifts its head up, there's a freaking UFO, like in the, the camera, because they got the they got the film, they got so it, it, yeah. It's like... And uh, they brought the vet right out, um, and oh, I forgot it wasn't a vet; it was a guy who does like autopsies on cows. Uh, I forget it's not like neck, autopsy; it's necro, like a necro necrosy or something like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he like did it right specifically to go find out why your cattle is dying. That that's thing their, up. That's his they, job. they don't show it on camera, but they, you can see it below camera. He's like, you know, cutting yeah. that thing and, up. And he's like, gets like the giant, the what do they call them? Like the hacksaw, the tree, bone saw, tree cutters, or something like that. Oh, oh, bolt, tree snippers, like bolt cutters, but yeah, for, the bolt cutters. Yeah. And he was just like, crack, crack, crack through the crack. <laughs> and you're like, oh, god, um, necropsy, necropsy. Necropsis. Thank you, thank you. I was gonna say yeah, a, a so necropsy. His job seer, is maybe? his job seer? is to go seer. and see yeah. see your is a seer is to go see why your cattle has died. So you can go. Is it diseased? Do I need to be worried about my other cattle? Like so. And he went and 
opened up the lungs and found this uh, pneumonia pneumonia in there and he said it could be due to stress and then the video footage of that whatever the hell was above it when it lifts its head fucking weird it then man. dies it, it lifts its head and oh, then, there's a ufo and, and, and then, then it goes over and then it lays the, there for a year it lays the the they the leave cow's alone. body lays it leave the cow's there. body there and after after the necro necropsy after, guy yeah, yeah so yeah, they okay. find out they talk it, about that and then they leave they move the body because they're like, okay, well, you know, let's have the coyotes eat it and get rid of the, yeah, so they the, body. Move the body to go move it way off. Eaten by nature and nature yeah. doesn't touch it. It's not touched for an entire year. Oh, entire year. What happens know. after the year? I'm still in season two, so I don't know yet. Gary, what <laughs> do you know? Well, what, what happens? happens after the year? I mean, does, does do they eventually go? All right, let's bury it. it. And they can't figure out like what. Yeah, what they brought body. a guy to come look. Yeah, at they it. have another guy come out. And check it out. And he's like, but I like know. bacteria, like it, well, it maggots, is just, it flies. Is, it is decayed, but it's it, not it, mo- it like no animal but ate no it. Animals would eat that. No thing birds came to it. No, yeah. no, no carrion. Uh, it basically what? has the skin is yeah. like intact. It's yeah. like a husk on top of the on top of the bones. Hugs don't touch it either. Hugs don't touch it's it natural. either. It's, it's just, weird. Yeah, that's it's, weird, dude. Freaking weird. You know how like dogs are very sensitive to things like that? It feels like nature yeah. like, is there's something reacting about that body they're like, that they're mm, like, mm, I'm, I'm good. No, I, I'm I don't good. need that bad juju. <laughs> well, weird. I ain't good. That's it. That. Some Nick Nick uh, Titan says it was radiated. Maybe maybe it was yeah. uh, radiated. They were talking about See? that, and then Travis Taylor even says like, "Hey, don't like when they first discover these all. Don't touch that thing." It could be like there could be radiation, yeah. and then the other guy goes, "Ah, too late. Sorry, we touched it." <laughs> what is weird is they have all of these radiation effects. So Travis yeah. Taylor, he gets radiation burns. Uh, the this animal dies randomly, but then they take like a Geiger counter, and it's there's nothing normal. It's totally normal. Yeah. But then yeah, they talk about the radiation burns. Like it happens a lot, actually. Yeah, there was that uh, that thirty old guy that. The first they brought the mom on and she was like, man, my son, there, there was a flash of light and he, he had burns and I guess it was mm-hmm. radiation burns. Yeah. But it, it, instead of it, the radiation just kind of permeating in the air and staying like a, like Chernobyl kind of vibe, you can't go there because then you'll get radiated. But yeah. if there was a flash of radiation, like that, the lasers, like the, the beams of light. That, yeah. Kind of like yeah, maybe. Scan the Earth. you guys see close. They said they, and they, they say yeah, it's, like, it was brighter than the sun. Like so yeah. bright, and then you it's get like, burned, but then it's it's gone. Uh, microwave don't burns don't leave residue, and there are weird microwaves there. Well done, chat. That that's another thing they bring up. There's there's strange spikes. There's strange signals mm-hmm. uh, that broadcast hmm. from nowhere that that can't be broadcast. There's no cell phone towers. Uh, it, it fucked with the radio station. There. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. So. We're we're supposed to believe this is all paranormal when this is happening in relatively the same environment that we were testing crazy new exotic weapons a hundred years ago or eighty years ago, whatever. I mean, it's so in the na- vicinity. It's fast not, was, forward eighty years. In Nevada. Okay. All, all Nevada. I mean, the borders Nevada. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know, but who knows, man? I mean, there could be. Yes, there are bases. Who knows what these guys have? The, like uh, the, the weapons that they're making who knows and they mentioned Testing. in the show that the the current crew is they're being monitored by the government like travis taylor got confirmation of it and they even hint to it in season four you see a couple of uh, helicopters fly over the but it it's supposed to be mostly restricted air sta- space but they um uh eric bard has this like awesome fucking system like in their their command center uh, and they keep tra- they have all the transponders of every plane flying in the area. They know, so yeah. that's when they when they see the UFOs, they're like, uh, and they call them UAP. UAP. They're, they're like, go check it, go they're check, go to check see it. if there's anything the effect, on there, and there's plane no or anything. No, and, and they caught like uh, three or four uh, in the first two seasons, three or four. So, uh, and and it, a, a couple of them repeated in the same place. So they started, you know, fucking with the with the ranch. That that's what they do in in the show. But I think it's really important what you, what you brought up earlier as at the end of the Jeremy Corbell documentary, um, you know, George Knapp, who didn't see anything, says, I didn't experience anything, didn't see anything there. But I've talked to enough very credible people who have 
including Robert Bigelow. Uh, and that one scientist said, said what you said that, that he believes that there is something going on that is meant messing with consciousness and they believe mm -hmm. and, and what they said in the documentary and what they say in the show is we are not in control here. It is playing with us. Whatever it is, is playing with us. And uh, almost to a man and woman, that's what's been said. So there's yeah, something the, going on. No idea what. Though. Yeah, Let the, me the stay there a night, okay? Yeah. Let us all stay there, especially X-Ray no. Girl. They let uh, uh, you do a show no. from. Did you see at the end of the documentary, Kim Robbie Kardashian. Williams was there, the singer Robbie. You know, Malay no, I didn't see that. Um, yeah, that's uh, here's a here's a more recent uh, reference. Post Malone was there. Post what? Malone got in contact went, went to with Skinwalker. Yeah, with uh, Brandon what? Fugel, and they he went there and did a, like a a video. To investigate the area, I'm like, well, you damn, you got to be post Malone to go do one of these things. What the heck? He's a little bigger than us. He's a little bigger, but I'm... come on, Brandon, we follow you on Twitter, <laughs> dude. I, need, I, right? I'm, like, I'm like a Brandon simp. I like all of his tweets. Okay, so come on, man. I'm almost like. Do you do you at count. least read them first? Yes, I read them. Well, then, I mean, I don't like the tweets talking about opening up a new building. I mean, it's like, I've, it's great that he opened up a new building in Utah, but that's not what I'm interested in. Yeah, like 90% of his stuff is uh, just business. Well, no, it's going to like Depeche Mode concerts and showing yeah. how, like, I got the best seat. Billy Idol. You know? <laughs> it's like, look at me and Billy Idol. He's kind of a baller. He is. Like, he's, I'm, I'm down with that. Like, go for it, dude. You got your hel helicopter. I love his brother, man. His brother. So he's chill. Uh, he's chill dude. Travis Taylor out, and uh, he's all. I just, you know, I'm worried about the safety of everybody flying in. Uh, do you mind if we uh, say a little prayer before we go in? Like it's yeah, like, okay. wow, yeah. we're saying a prayer. prayer. Television, holy shit! Uh, I think it's fine. It was it was cool. Very serious about his job. Loves that. Very helicopter. serious. He looks like he loves that helicopter. He's like, look, I don't, I don't go over. There's the uh, here's the mesa. It's a whole area here, and then there's that ridge. I'm not gonna fly over that ridge. A lot of weird stuff happens over there. So I'm just not even gonna go over there. But you can look at it. I don't. I don't like to look at it sometimes. Well, when he does fly, <laughs> I want to go over there. I want to go fly, over there. Man. When he does fly over the ridge, something weird definitely happens in the well, show. Because, because uh, legitimately, technology gets weird. It goes haywire around that area. So the I wouldn't fly a freaking hurt. helicopter over it. Adam Young, you're right. So what? What a repeated thing that keeps on happening when they're uh, so in the show. They start really poking the bear. Right. They're like, we want to fuck with this place. They start so digging a response. So they start digging. They start fucking firing off rockets and just watching them fire off the rockets. is fucking cool. It's fun. It's just like they yeah, get really cool. awesome fucking huge rockets and they're firing up in the sky. Yeah. They're shooting lasers up in the sky. They have Tesla coils. They're fucking. Uh, they're like, uh, what? Like, let's just try literally everything. <laughs> try everything. <laughs> See if we can poke the bear. They have the Tesla coils going and the guys are holding light bulbs like uh, and they're lighting up. They're oh, fucking yeah, lighting yeah. up, which is cool. Tesla <laughs> coils are awesome. Um, yeah, they are. Uh, no, what keeps happening is that that uh, what the, the chat just mentioned there is there's a frequency at 1.6 gigahertz that just automatically just starts happening. So that's the one thing they've been able to repeat. Um, and that's the mm. where they eventually, there's a local radio station that caught it too. And mm. what, um, what Travis Taylor e explains is that can't happen. Like, what do you uh, mean caught it? What, how do they, how do they catch it? The they, radio they, she received she uh, uh, the woman who runs the, the radio station received mm -hmm. the signal. So it's broadcasting, but there's nothing broadcasting it. And when the first time they caught it, they they shot off a rocket. And then Travis is like, "You broadcasting something right now, Eric?" And Eric's like, "I'm not broadcasting anything." No, right, well, something's broadcasting right here. Oh, radio I station. See. They radio Weird. and yeah, they caught it at the radio station and they caught the noise. Um, what? And there's one point where they start playing the noise and it affects somebody. Like somebody gets a, uh, like two times somebody gets like really bad headaches. Uh, and a couple of times they had to go to that happens in the show. Emergency like... room. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Th there's something weird going on. People are getting, people get lightheaded there. Um, that happens and... like three times in the first season. Yes. Where they're, they're like, they go to this, the cave system and they're checking it out and they're getting their Geiger meters and all that stuff. And 
the phone starts acting weird. Like you'll see on their phone, it'll start just like moving up and down and switching like slides and going to like the messages yeah, the and going up and down. Weird. Like so it's like closing say, and opening, closing and opening. Sure. And then they, he gets, starts to get a headache. Um, and just one of them now. Why was Robbie Williams there? This was at, this was before I think he was there as a guest of Brandon Fugel, who likes he likes his music. Okay, he's a big Depeche Mode yeah, fan. He's like, come on, get so, it, Robbie, Robbie. Like, come on, singer, uh, come on, hang out with Jeremy. Cor it was such a random thing to see Robbie Williams and George Knapp. <laughs> it's like what the hell? Um, but <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, if if Brandon Fugel said, hey. Gary, quarterback, Adam, you want to come to Skinwalker? Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, yes, so. I do. 100%. 100%. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I like this. Brian in chat says, my girlfriend t uh, must talk at that frequency. I get a headache when she talks. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you guys end up kidnapping me, I hope they untie my ropes. You know, like they've opened those locks and then I can escape mm -hmm. and run. I think we have unlocked a mystery, right? You want to be out You'll there be alone in the middle of nowhere. Is that, you is that what you're saying? You want to be alone no, no, no. out there? Where are you I, gonna I, run? I, You'll be I'm at like, the I mean, ranch. I would take one of the cars. That's fine. I'll drive. Uh -huh. But okay, who here would sleep by themselves? No. Absolutely. At the second homestead. <laughs> Can you guys 100%. sleep like in a triangle around me by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> or like in a like the Mandalorians when they're eating dinner. We'll find our own little spot. I don't, know, I don't know what that means, but sure. Oh, you're lucky. You're one you're of the lucky, lucky yeah. ones. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not watching it. Oh, I'm good. No. Well, a lot of people I, aren't I saw watching it anymore. Clips. I saw enough clips. Homestead two, so yes. Homestead two. I would. Homestead I would two. get my little, uh, my my uh, my sterno can and my sleeping bag, oh my and God. I would bet your ass I'd sleep. I'd out. just be live streaming sleep it the entire the time, being like, guys, I'm really scared. There's a noise out there. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, it's Garrett. So um, <laughs> what happens is uh, the security guard there. I mean, he's got a broken phone. All right. The, his, but like it's the an iPhone. I mean, my, my so the screens are always fucked up on iPhones because they suck. Um, I, 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 my, I've had, I've had the same either. iPhone mine's for seven. No, six and a half years. iPhones are lame. All right. My screen did break. Objectively lame. They just are. <laughs> I don't need my phone to do what my computer can do. I, just, uh, I can't wait to replace it. Way, I'll tell you that. I just bought like the most ridiculous phone because it was ridiculous. So you know that Samsung fold. The fold? One? You got the fold? I got the fold. <laughs> got is that it. Cool. How, wait, how is that? Is that is it that works, good? Do you, does it annoy you? Do you see the fold when laptop. it's open? It's a yeah. laptop. when you open it. Do you see the fold? I you feel like I would. It, it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't bother you though. You, it doesn't you, distort the image not, at all. It's not a hard crease, and no, it does not distort the image. No, and you can fold the Weird. Fold. And and it'll have a screen on the other side. Too. I like that extra screen. It's like Pretty having cool. a flip phone, but not a flip phone. No, dude, for, for cool, blind man. people, it's wonderful. It is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can see everything. Um, the so, screen is so big. It's so big. He's so big. He's so big. Um, wow. Wow. So yeah. So but but it's iPhone, your birthday present. So an iPhone. <laughs> what was happening to this guy's iPhone was weird. So what it was you could see that they were it wasn't just random shit happening you would see they were trying to unlock his iphone like it was going yeah. through codes it was a it like, was go it would go like through speed. messages and it unlocked his phone it tried to dial 911 it was going through his messages it was trying to dial numbers while the guys like and this it has yeah. happened multiple times and it's that's not the only and it's not just him to. it's not yeah, it's on it's, video yeah yes yeah. they have it on video it's weird it's weird what would cause weird, that yeah. Uh, alien shit. I don't fucking Freaking know. Ghosts, man. Ghosts, well, I mean, you you think about uh, the the phone itself. You, you, I don't know. Just fucking I mean, up. Okay, going yes. haywire. Sounds like the Fed. Sounds, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I see that. I don't know if it's like no uh, an intentional. It 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 definitely looks like it's just like freaking out. Like it's going page to page, moving up and down, moving up and down, and going and closing and opening up other apps and opening those and cl closing them and moving them up. So I'm like, is it some kind of electromagnetic field that it's moved through that your phone in that area just starts going haywire? Hmm. But it did. What was weird is that it unlocked his phone. So it, it like if say your phone just starts going haywire and it's locked, it's not going to do anything because it's on the lock screen. Mm -hmm. But it un unlocked the phone 
and then started doing all the stuff. And then went into messages and then tried and then calling 911. And then was opening the Glenn Beck app over and over. <laughs> yes, he did. I watched it. I was like, he's was listening like, to Glenn Beck? To Glenn Beck. <laughs> hey, that's my in. That's my in. Okay. I vaguely know Glenn Beck. I'm like a Kevin Bacon away from Glenn Beck. So if I go there, <laughs> like, hey, security guy, I can take you to the studio, right? That's how we that's get into Skinwalker Ranch. He's somebody, got a really dope office. I could tell you that. I've he does. Got he's got in it. Somebody, uh, there's a Vader helmet in, in there. Organization invited me and then never responded. They invited me on. I'm like, okay. And then they never responded. I think that's, that's just like how they work. Back to organization. They're kind of happy <laughs> a little bit. I'm, I'm okay with it. I didn't want to go to Dallas. I want to go to Dallas. Yeah, you Dallas. heard me. You heard me. Damn. I'd go to, I'd go to I'm Dallas. Four hours Garrett. away. He still is not visiting me. Damn. He doesn't what leave his house. Talking but... about? Okay. <laughs> I'd have to leave my house to Number go visit one. somebody. You don't see comics and you live in the same town. I know. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, Jake D lives in this town. Uh, the donut operator lives around here. I don't see any of these people. Because <laughs> I don't leave my house. I see my neighbor. I feel you. I don't leave my house either. Yeah, I, I mean, neither. I'm so I, white because I don't leave my house. Leaving my house re recently because actually I was told a job. that I got a little bit of sun today. Cool. My, my wife is like, "Hey, you're a little less pale. <laughs> like, hey, nice. Regular. Still pretty pale." I was, though. I was in, I know, yeah. <laughs> but I got a little bit of sun. All right, I was in the yeah. sunshine. Sit it's been a long. And... It's been 84 years. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so it says, uh, 1.6 gig uh, gigahertz is de designated by the FCC. For private line of sight 4G spectrum, it's also designated for military use. Uh, yeah, I yeah I net um, the 1.6 thing. I do believe is I think they're being monitored by the military for sure. But the thing is, there's no military anything near there. There's not supposed to be now that we there, know about. There used to be a government run organization there, so could they yeah. still be spying on them? Absolutely. But still then monitoring. there was other weird thing that happens later on in the season. Where they st they're they're communicating with each other. They're like on their walkie talkies going uh, dragon. Dragon's like oh, I'm really worried because he's always worried. <laughs> he's always worried. And, um, and uh, all of a sudden they're broadcasting through their fucking the monitors in the, in the computer room, and they can hear themselves. Like there's that a microphone on them. Is screwed up. Yep. And so what? they're like look for a microphone everywhere. Yeah. They just start all of a sudden you can hear their voice. It starts get echoing, and they're like what what the fuck the is this? So. Uh, yeah, a lot of weird stuff happens. Uh, who? I mean, see, yeah. see second the, favorite the, character on the show on. is the little tech guy. The the skeptic like the in me, uh, really Eric tech. Hard. You're talking yeah, about yeah. Eric Hard. Yeah. I was gotta say, the skeptic in me is saying that is all set up for it me too. Be, me too. Be, I have I a would... feeling too. I, there's legit. There's a couple shots that when they're showing like the beam in the sky, it's when they're shooting a laser in the first season. It's like season episode two, I think. They're shooting a laser in the sky. There is one shot where they visually make a laser, a fake laser, like in After Effects, go across the sky. So then it makes me question all the other ones because they showed a shot of something that they manipulated but didn't say they manipulated it. Because I'm like, when you show a laser like that, you're not going to see it how they show it. And I could see that it's an it's like keyframe animated. <laughs> Like as an editor, I could see where they did it. Uh huh. Oh yeah. So it makes me go like, Meh. but it, it's all the stuff that isn't like that. That is oh, like they bring a scientist out there. He does tests with his equipment. Thing. That that's the stuff that I find interesting. Yeah. The, uh, so uh, and plus, it's just a fun show with funny characters. What they have been, tr what they try to do throughout all three seasons is they there's a place called the Triangle, which is near and that's down the way from Homestead too. But that's where all the weird shit happens. And it's like where some roads meet and it's by the, the Mesa and it's literally shaped like a triangle. So they have tried to fly weather balloons over there, mm -hmm. over it. Uh, they've shot rockets over it. They've uh, taken a plane over it. Uh, and what they're trying to do is get readings at 10,000 feet, which is five. So it's 5,000 feet. The, the elevation of the ranch is 5,000 feet. So 5,000 feet above the ranch is 10,000 feet above sea level. And they have kind of tracked down that the anomaly might be over the triangle and it's in the sky. So there's something in the sky yeah. that's weird. So they're trying to get readings, gamma ray readings and stuff. And every time they try to get readings, something, the equipment dies. 
uh, a uh, drones won't operate. Yeah, the bat uh, the drone batteries die. They, they lost even, a, a rocket. They get no point where they get in a helicopter and they drop fucking they put like in these little tubes with like a little uh flag in the back so you can see where they and they just drop them out of the yeah and it still cannot get any readings at all and then the one time they flew a plane over it um the gps of the plane made it look like the plane was flying underground and through the mesa so it's like a fucking like some kind of weird magnet Ties, yeah, force that's field that's, weird manipulating thing. Well, eventually, that's like they get in reality. They they do another experiment where um, Eric and Travis are in the helicopter with Bra with Brandon's brother, and they fly over the Mesa. And when the, and they're going to get to ten thousand feet and get their readings, get their gamma readings or whatever. And all of a sudden, the radar pings and says, and Brandon's brother goes, uh, "There's." It's showing there's something 40 feet below our our helicopter it keeps saying it like it, it it starts and it stops it starts and it stops and he's all that's making me a little nervous you know uh yeah, it's like yeah. a proximity detector right radar proximity de detector um the, you know the guys are on the ground they're like we don't see anything i don't see anything there's nothing under you you're fine um but it keeps happening and keeps happening they get almost up to ten thousand feet they do manage to get some readings they come back down uh, because they call it early because this thing keeps happening. It keeps like pinging the thing. And you see it like they, they're showing it. Yeah. Um, and it stays the whole time 40 feet under them. It's 40 to 30 like, feet. As it's they're pinging. moving, it's still yeah. pinging at the same it's spot. Pinging, but it's pinging like this. It's like it's like it's moving back and forth. Oh, well, later on, they Ooh. get some video and they show yeah. something moving back and forth. At high it is wild. Under, what did it look like? Uh, it's just a like a, a, it's a blur straight line chat if you're a long time wait, wait, Art Bell fan, is this? if you're a long time this is like later in season three okay. if you're a long time art bell fan chat spoiler you, you've heard of rod <laughs> right you've heard of the rods tell me if anybody in the chat has heard of the rods the heard rods. of the rod the rods so the rods I, i'm forgetting what the guy's name is but he used to go to places in mexico and south america and he would catch what people originally thought were insects going across his yeah yeah his lens were not insects and they, they were just shaped like rods but whatever they were they were moving at a high speed and they would fly out of these uh god what was the um uh what was the what are the names of those like it could be a particle where nina lives where nina infinity lives the 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 Cancun? mexico city yeah so there's like all these holes in the ground which are left over from the uh, check salute uh, oh there's water oh, in the, the, the caves the, the, yeah there's a name for him though uh yeah I, I i'm not saying i believed in the rods but i'm using it as an example it looked like something like that so i can uh i'll dig it up well, what is it, some kind of particle you know because like you can see uh, radiation cenotes? particles yes. in cameras yes what, what the girl just said cenotes yeah cenote. Yeah. Cenote. yeah i don't know that one you hmm. can see radiation particles in, in a photograph or in a camera <laughs> So what if it is a, some kind of particle that's flying through space and maybe it's just like going through that specific area back and forth, back and forth, back and is forth. It, that I don't not not well, is it, it is it consistent already, straight through? They, they got, or is it like moving? they got on video uh, a UAP going through the clouds. This is like a couple of I think it's I can't remember what season it is. It's going through the clouds. It takes a sharp turn. It goes. There are particles in space. Yes, there are. Yes, well, there's always particles in space. Yes, there's lots of shit in space, but there's space in space too. Um, space. But they caught uh, something that might have looked similar, but the thing was going so fucking fast, it could not have been something from, and it couldn't have been a meteor because it takes a hard turn. But yes, it's going okay. so fast, think, you, like the frames things the don't naturally really take hard turns. No, they don't. Uh, yeah, not in here. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pull this mm. up so I can at least get the image for you guys. So, boy, was that in season three? I've watched them all recently. It, it's in season three because I watched just I think the first episode. Or... I watched just the first episode, and they have a, the image of the back and forth um, video. What if there's something underneath Skinwalker Ranch? Don't dig. Every, anytime they try to dig, like right. that's when shit they, happens. They ran, um, I forgot what it was called, but they like did a 
ground penetrating radar kind of thing over lidar the, i don't know if it was lidar but they did find that there there is something under the ground over a certain area they it was like these weird like hump shapes in the formation so i think there huh. might be something down there either like a case military system base or some kind of object <laughs> i'm serious who knows i'm getting maybe to where maybe some kind of storage ah uh-huh. there we go spacecraft those are people it's where hillary Clinton's people. from <laughs> what hell <laughs> yeah that's what's below maybe yeah you know that, that could be what they call it corn pop yeah he's a bad dude he is a bad dude Hmm. I, I found it. I'm just trying to like get this. Uh, you can't see it because it's got the the pause and the bar below it, and it's kind of darkening the picture. So I'm trying to move that out of the way. You can keep talking. Yeah. Well, I I I need to see this the seasons now. There it is, right there. I, I have so many questions, and I I just want to know more. You're gonna have to get a picture of this. Hang on. I got a dome admit, shaped though, rock I'm, under the sun, under the mesa. That's what I'm talking about, Nick. Yeah, I, I'm some, rather like, skeptical. Kind of... Yeah, that okay. sounds like an underground base of some sort. They don't want anyone looking down below. They're keeping everyone. Or focused like what on Gary was saying, what if it's like a, a crashed spacecraft from a million years ago? It's been sitting there, and it's just constantly trying to keep you away from it. Well, Bob Lazar oh. alluded to the fact that one of the ships that they had found it was, that, it was a crash. Not. Not what Sorry. he was working on, but they found it in an archaeological dig, and it's like yeah. that's interesting. I don't know if that's the case or not, but if if something doesn't want to be found, then they might be projecting something into the sky, and then everyone's like, to "Oh keep man, you, I keep it away. It's up in the sky. We got to figure this out. It's above the triangle, like up there." Yeah, don't they, but don't they dig. explain it don't that way dig. too. They they said a lot of the phenomena was above the skies for a while, and then it seemed to move below. To where it was a lot of like this isn't going to be great, but it'll work because I can't show any video from this. When you dig and stuff, things would happen. We will get danged. We don't want to get danged. No, bring out the old uh, MS Paint here. Uh, (laughs) MS Paint. Wow, man, that's cool, man. Do I even have that on my computer? I don't know. Is it blinking for you? Yeah, yeah, it's it's blinking. blinking. Stop. Why are you blinking, bitch? You got Photoshop? (laughs) Just open it in Photoshop. No, I don't. Not on this computer. Hang on. Damn. I'll save the pick. Right click. <sighs> open with. I wonder. Windows. Um, I can maybe try turning on my uh, Hang on. card. On. Can you post it in Discord? Maybe I can open it. I got it. Hang on. I got it, damn it. I got it. All right. <laughs> you can see Chrissy and Deepa on the bottom. This would be funny. <laughs> you can see all the pictures I've been putting on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> so, um, right here in the left hand corner, you see this right here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that surely see that from, rod. Yeah, it, it shoots right under the fucking helicopter, and there's a couple of pictures of this. So, you're seeing well, the beginning of it. Some, is it like, something is pinging their radar, something, something is, is telling the yeah. helicopter that there's something, something 40 feet below. The radar like it's, it's a solid th- yeah. something that the radar is actually picking up. So, the, the radar is sending out a signal, right? And then, it, and then it captures the bounce back. So, something's hitting that that's bouncing back, and it's not always underneath them. So, it has to be some sort of physical object, right? Yep, hmm. and, or something that could throw a, a sensor off. Right. I mean, it could be natural, but like this goes along with all the weird shit that keeps on happening over the like damn a, triangle. Like a giant and, pile. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, they've been digging too. Towards the end, they dig into the mesa and they pull out some processed metal, metal like aluminum. And, and, uh, the other, it, but it's how aluminum? far down? It's 300 feet into the mesa. Al- aluminium. Aluminium. Sorry, what? But also, feet. there's also another metal I can't pronounce. Uh, that's unobtainium. Unobtainium. No, it's adamantium. <laughs> um, You're thinking it. And, uh, so uh, vibranium. No, they uh, they find this. I've pulp. always been akin to adamantium. Adamantium. I don't know. I don't know why. Something they find about the, the name. Metal, just, metal just, 300 just, feet in the mesa. That's it's different on each side. So one side is aluminium, wow. and the other side is this other 
Yeah, it's like little chips, like they were drilling into something and it was chipping it off. Uh, and and what they were drilling in to, they couldn't drill anymore because they were hitting something that, and they got these little flakes of metal. So they didn't test them. And Travis Taylor says, like, this is what we build shuttles and jets out of. What and the hell's what, under there? What's That's under there? That is weird. And they figured out secret that military base. Bigelow, it, they think it's Bigelow had purposefully um, dynamited a part of that Mesa to collapse something. Like they brought a guy out and he's like, yeah, this has been demoed. This isn't like natural. This has been Pur demoed. purposefully purposely to cover up a cave yeah. or something. Possibly. They probably dug it out, whatever now, it was. Now for the, the government's involved in this shit. They're watching. They well, came in, like, they took it and said, demo that. Well, I mean, it could be safety too. Like, People fucking around in those caves. We just need to shut it off. Yeah. Sure. No, I think there was something there. Yep. I agree. It's weird. Oh, it. I can't there's, wait for season four. I can't definitely wait. Definitely some kind of uh, cave system. Because they were shown in, the, in the season two where the water was just going into that, that sinkhole. Like, so the guy, Thomas, he's on the ranch and he's watering something and water runoff goes into the sinkhole area and it he's like he finds a hole and he's like oh how how long is it going to take to fill up this hole and see how deep it is he sits there for two hours like he puts the hose in there it fills up takes two hours then he takes the water off and then it drains in 15 minutes so he's like what the hell they go to it they fill it up with water they put this dye into it like a like this super bright green dye so they could try and find out where the water's going. Like maybe it'll come out of like the river or they have like this little uh, swampy area up in the top corner. Uh, they do that. Does it come out anywhere? This, this dye. So there's just somewhere, there's definitely some kind of cave system or underground well, lake or I, something I, under well, you this said, area. You said they're 5,000 feet above sea level. So that that's that's pretty high up. Yeah, that's that's pretty high up. So yeah. So where's this water going? Who knows? Like, I'm assuming and they dig down. out like just the they dig out the the immediate area around it, and they don't find the cave. They don't find like a little area for the water to go, and then they just move on. And I'm like, go back to the go back to the water hole. I need you to dig the whole area out. Okay. Find out where mm -hmm. it goes. Well, and I'm just imagining like a underground military base there's just green <laughs> water coming Excess down green water Dang it. <laughs> what's going there on alien there? dudes down there that's weird uh, i don't know why they wouldn't roll a be, 20 garrett be... hold on 15 With what to do what i don't know i just said roll a oh. 20 who said roll a 20 what i don't okay. understand i mean graham in Ancient Apocalypse used LIDAR all the time. They were talking about what they saw under Quebec de Tepe with the different yeah, they should do that multiple either. different accounts. Well, LIDAR then, for, like you're talking about like plants. Yeah. It's well, a, what are the ground penetrating radar is a completely different thing than LIDAR. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's what so that's I, what they I'm need. All, to do. I want all of those things. Whatever it is. And what? that's what they Why do. Are, they do uh, they, they do, do it in the they season. They do, do, yeah. And to that's a, what they, to a certain they find section. out. They, they find there is an anomaly underground that's yeah. kind of curved. Like a dome-shaped shape like object. Football, actually. I'd be like, let's get some why excavators would, right why now. Why wouldn't that be Start the digging. main focus? All right, dragon, let's go hey, see what that shit dragon is. Dragon does not want it to happen. Dragon and then why? Kept them you, from Fugle, digging for the longest time. also doesn't want them to Who the fuck is Dragon? Why is he being a jackass? He's the boss. All right. Is he? Dragon is head of security. He's the guy with okay. the gun. He's very serious. The guy with the gun, and he's very serious. What's Sounds like they should it? figure out what that dome is. Dig it up. Oh, okay, so they have they have um dragon. Here's here's the cast of characters. They you have, have a picture. Uh, I have a picture of them. Yeah, Brian. I want to roll Arnold. a twenty now. They have Thomas Winterton, Brandon Five. Fiegel, Travis Taylor, Eric Bard, uh Tom Lewis, how come he doesn't have a picture? They have the couple, right? Uh, who live the on caretakers. The caretakers. This is a bad picture, but at least it's a picture. You can see yeah. it. You see all of them. There's so all. this is Fugle. This is Dragon. Thomas. Uh, Why does Eric. Dragon seem so upset? 
He always that's his that's like he's, he cares. He's okay, it's because he scared. cares. He's scared. It's I relate to him. About his people. I'm right? mad because I care. So Thomas here, he's he's kind of like the groundskeeper. I don't, I don't know what his actual job title, but it seems that to be that's what he does. He like superintendent, ranch superintendent. He, so he was he dug a hole. You're never supposed to dig a hole, man. Never supposed to dig and a hole. The back of his head, the skin on the back of his head came. It did, separated. It he got separated a, he from got his fluid. skull. He, there's some some weird fluid got in between his skull and his skin. And this and, was before uh, the show. This happened like a year or something yeah. before the show. Had to go to what the is, hospital. What, is the, what, did, what did the doctor say? Like, how did they that happen? They did I not know. How why. does that happen? It looks to me very like radiation kind of. That's what thing. I was thinking as well. Yeah. yeah, some kind of radiation, like Can a beam see? of radiation, like went through the fucking back of his head or something. Just, uh, and then it know, happens again in season at the later end of season one. Travis got radiation burns and and like we've all gotten radiation burns okay it's called sunburn but you know when your sunburn gets particularly bad and some like yeah. some parts of very specific and stuff yeah that's that's, mm-hmm. that's radiation burn huh. and travis his his finger like swelled up and then they found that there was a, a bunch of like liquid and a cyst mm-hmm. in his finger like almost oh, like yum. the fluid that built up in the back of thomas's head that, that sounds crazy. gross it's super okay. gross like a big had, to, had to cut it open. And what if what if we find what if we get down there and the dome it you know the you know the dome they put over Chernobyl? Yeah. Okay. So that was that was to contain Chernobyl, right? And what if we get down there and it was actually someone built similar something to contain uh the the tech when they were building on it to make these uh anti-grav ships that Bob Lazar claims was found in an archaeological dig. What if this is actually like what's happening is I I don't think Dragon's human. I think he's actually an alien trying to prevent oh. everyone from getting down there and releasing the you radar know, he kind of that acts like an alien. was been g- contained. I don't know. I've no, I haven't seen it yet. So. He acts like an alien just a little bit. So I can actually, Maybe he is. I believe that. I would believe that. He kind, he kind of looks like he wants a glass of sugar water. <laughs> more, more. I understood sugar, that reference. Sugar. <laughs> It looks like him, doesn't it? I'm just saying. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Just saying. Sugar. Sugar. But it was this guy's phone that was freaking out. They're the caretakers. Uh, they saw some cattle. The the cattle that died, they were the ones that monitoring him. Who is this guy again? I forgot this guy's name. Uh, I he's he that's Poncho in... guy. No, yeah. that's oh, the yeah. best. I mean, like <laughs> it's Poncho. Jim Morse. <sighs> It's Poncho ranch vest. Manager. Sorry. Clothing. Jesus. Ranch Jesus. manager. So ranch superintendent is Thomas Winterton. Bryant Dragon Arnold is head of security. Principal investigator is Eric Bard. Uh, Travis Taylor is an astrophysicist. We met him. Ooh. Is we Dragon's did. real name Ager? Hey, Ager. Ager. Uh, that's that's why, uh, yeah, that's, that's the first question I like turned right. Like we got, we're all talking to Georgia. I'm like, Travis, When's your show coming out, dude? Travis. <laughs> what's what's Dragon's real name? That's what I want to know. No, it's Bryant Dragon Arnold. You can oh, follow him on middle. Twitter. Wow. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. <laughs> Sugar. Sorry. Sugar. If you name yourself Dragon, I don't know. I just love the the No Dragon have a certain character. kind He's of funny. confidence. Funny. I name I would hope dragon. someone else named him Dragon. I feel like he did. He named himself Dragon. He's that type of character. Him. All right. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> He's like, look, <laughs> I'm in charge. Call me Brent Dragon. All right. Wow. I needed to hear more confidence to, in that. You have to I watch think. this. Show. I'm a majestic being. I, I need to watch it. Yeah, I do. I need I need to watch it. Yeah, you do. Oh, I will. Uh, Mark Phoenix. What's, what is the name of the show? Sorry, before you. I'm just Skinwalker. Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. Secrets of Skinwalker. Okay. Secrets. I think there is secrets, but they call it secret. A secret of Skinwalker Ranch? A secret of Skinwalker Ranch. Okay. Yeah. The secret of Skinwalker Ranch. They have that same guy doing the voiceover that all the History Channel shit does. And every uh, time something happens, they go, oh, what? What? And I like just a, found all three seasons. Dramatic. Yes. There you go. I'm hyped. Nice. I, I'm hyped. There you go. Oh. And it premieres in two days, ladies and gentlemen. Let's two days. go. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, getting a bunch of free advertisement. Okay, you want to know a freaking dork I am? I'm a member of like their fan club. I got a card, I got a t shirt. <laughs> yeah, and I have going on tour. 
Did you see yeah, that? They yeah, did. I saw that. They have a special he got portal. You got an email about it. You get special live streams, and it's really cool. You get access to the cameras on, on the ranch. Yeah. And... They have an after what? show, like, oh, wrap yeah. up, kind of like Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. And it's Dragon and uh, Thomas. That is pretty cool, actually. Yep, I'm a nerd. Guilty as charged. It's true, you are. I am. That's true. Uh, Mark Phoenix for 55 what's our something i think brazilians some 55 brazilians on 55 women thank you hello gary and crew take a look at cause cause revs mirror it's russian scientific experiment and it might explain the skinwalker anomalies and it's related to mirror tech and time energy Ooh, i'll look at that that sounds awesome uh thx 1138 uh, George Lucas's first film for $20. Gary, you need to watch Travis Taylor guest on the Rick and Bubba show. Rocket City Rednecks, man. Travis has been on the show a few times since Skinwalker debuted. He went into detail about getting irradiated one episode. Oh, I'll definitely watch that. I love Travis. He's funny. Like he delivers all his deliveries are the same. We just don't understand what it is. Oh, hey, that's just me. <laughs> Shameless self plug. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah there we are look at that that's such that. a great photo I the only it. thing the only thing missing is x-ray girl i know you should be right here and you you should be here too yeah, yeah. i just All feel right, like okay. this on the side <laughs> you what do you mean you gotta do this you have to do what does this, do this mean aliens aliens it's oh aliens. we're showing like... our dick sizes oh wow okay <laughs> travis over there like <laughs> yeah. no no it's, it's aliens that's what it's supposed to be aliens <laughs> you never seen that meme with the guy in the middle yeah, with the aliens. tall fuzzy I didn't hair grow up on the internet really. that wow. is Giorgio Sucolos. That this is like jazz hands to me jazz hands anyways <laughs> jazz I'll hands. stop talking it's your birthday we're gonna allow it it's Giorgio okay. got oh. memes They're jazz hands for the day and he did the smartest thing you can possibly do he leaned into it he's like fuck yeah Merchandise that shit started doing t-shirts and everything it was great georgia smart he's a cool dude uh blue balls spare has gifted five nerdrotic live memberships for hey. five dollars thank Thanks. you welcome members you know you're not I'm giving us blue guys, balls can I, can I this is totally off i just need to bitch uh oh take Please. the camera for a sec go go full cam I, you need I, I feel it I did my taxes today. Finished oh. my taxes. Ouch. Taxation is theft. Taxation is theft. It is all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to say. That's it. I agree. Well, I did some fun mm. stuff. I booked Asheville. We booked our hotel room for Asheville. I think this is a good time to bring up. And Adam, we got to get Tell you me out. What hotel it is? So I can. Got you. Uh, I almost said it. <laughs> I love and trust you. I like nothing would happen, but like you just Never know. You gotta be smart about this. Jake D, no, hey Jake, like this is another guy. This is, this, is, this is a good buddy of mine here. And we live 20 minutes apart. I haven't seen him once. So when I get back from Vegas, Jake D, we're going out to dinner. Okay. Taxation is theft. Damn straight. That's my brother right there. Jake D. True. Um, Very true. I almost said, but I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My wife. Would have gone. Oh. Now we have to cancel him and get um, a new one. So, uh, Adam, once we get closer, like once I get done with Vegas, because that's kind of what my my brain is. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk yeah, you about focus on getting Vegas. you out. We'll, get, we'll talk yeah. about getting you out. We'll okay. find a way. I think, I think it's really worth it. Okay. Um, you'll get to meet Randall and Graham, dude. I want to meet them. And both, you can so see your mom. Know. You can like do your whole thing. You and my can grandma, see your mom, and your grandma. Yeah, I want to and, see my grandma. Uh, do your passport dad. thing. My Aww. sisters, my Let's nieces see, and nephews. You Grammy, you got a big family. That's awesome. And we'll get you more color on the skin. You know, it's nice. A more color on the skin. Thanks, uh, chat. Adam should come. Right, he should totally go down. Yeah. That's true. All right. Yeah, I haven't been stateside in a while, so. Um, so we have a a affiliate link on HowTube if you want to watch it via live stream. Okay, it's a, support the, us. The event link in the description. Out. Link in the description. Uh, you get to see uh, a Jimmy Corsetti, the great Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy you got to come on the show. 
Jimmy, we love you. He said he's down. He said he's down. I'd uh, reach out to him. He said well, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, who knows what we have in the future? Maybe, you know, I mean, you know, things maybe are going to happen already. Things are you know, going to happen. Who knows? <laughs> maybe we've hey, already talked. Hey, Jimmy. You never know. Uh, but Jimmy's really great videos. Really great he, videos. He great videos. And a great guy. Like, he seems like a really freaking chill, like, real dude. And this is what we need is like, I think the problem with the uh, with the old UFO crowd and ancient is um, they were they're really serious people. I don't mean to disrespect everybody, but they don't feel approachable and authentic sometimes because yeah. maybe they're just the autism is strong. I don't know. And I, appreciate <laughs> I do. I really do. But like, you know, like even Graham, like Graham is like a rock star in this field, feels like an, a really approachable dude. Randall, approachable dude. Jimmy is like uh, one of us. He's like a regular guy. So that I think that that's really important. You know, even you, you get that from Ben from Uncharted X. These are like just chill dudes. You know, they 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 just they they you can tell they're not here. They're here because they want to know the truth. They're really in like obsessively into this subject and they want to get to the truth and uh, you know riches and all that shit. They're gonna come to people as talented as as Randall and Graham and, and Jimmy. But like what started was a just true obsession. Like that's what I, 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 you know, that's, that's where, what I'm, I, this is a lifelong hobby that could just be a hobby. That's fine with me. I, you know, I, if it became a profession, great, but like, this has been the thing I've been into as long as I've been into comic books or anything else. This is my, my uh, like, uh, uh, obsession of mine too. I just, and I, you know, I don't have any preconceived notions what the truth is. I like, I, I would love to know that the 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 universe is way weirder than we thought, but um, yeah, yeah, which I think it is. So uh, are I just want to know the truth. That's all, and and that's the, the you know Randall Carlson, Graham Hancock, Jimmy Ben from Uncharted X. They're, they're truth seekers, and uh, that that is uh, I, I I freaking love it. I can you know when I go to Contact in the Desert might sound as boring as fuck to a lot of people out there. I sit through three days of lectures delivered as dry as possible but the information keeps keeps my brain stimulated fascinating. right it's fascinating stuff and uh like uh cosmic the cosmic summit looks awesome awesome wasn't gonna miss that so if you if you have a chance to go see it uh at least via live stream we're gonna yeah, do it's sold out it's sold it's, out uh, we're gonna do 15. live streams afterwards um and it looks like we're gonna be interviewing some people and we might have a table there they're kind of like this is their first time doing it like this. So, I mean, however it works out, it works out. I have no expectations. Like, uh, we'll, we'll help them with whatever they need help with. And yeah. They're really nice people. They reached out to us, and they're super nice. So, uh, hell yeah, I'm excited. June's going to be so insane. Excited. Got, a lot, got a lot going on. Got a lot going on in June. So, uh, thank you guys, again, uh, for supporting this show and supporting. The us. real MVP is right here. Yep, right, that's right, right here. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. You. Looking at you. Who are you, chat? You know what? I feel like it's a good time for a UFO spin. I think it is, too. What is, is that, like, specifically for the UFO? Or is that, like, <laughs> is that an ear hair dryer? Yes. I, I didn't come up with this idea. This is, uh, this is what Tim actually bought. And he has, like, a hundred of these all around the house. They're for cleaning, like your keyboard, yeah, and like your oh, computer. I need, but one they work. They're and they're rechargeable. You just plug them in with like a USB C. I was gonna, oh, I was gonna make a joke. I was USB. gonna say that Tim's a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, blow the three hairs he has left. Oh, man. <laughs> but no, I I believe what he does is just he he puts it under the beanie. Oh, he never oh, takes it off. He's like he is like a Mandalorian. Like a Just... never nude, but with the beanie. <laughs> I could make a joke, but I'm not going to. That's funny though. Arrested Development, great show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I did not steal this. I did not steal this. All right, my wife stole it. Just. <laughs> I, I oh, dude, so, it's it's still still no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let me <laughs> let me explain. I once said on stream that I took it and she got mad at me. She was like, you didn't take that. I took it for you. And I was oh, like, oh, shit. That's a good woman right there. And I was like, you know what? I'll never say it again. I will always give you credit. So I, 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 I just one. saying, I promised her. And she's got there you your go. back, man. There you go. She does. She's awesome. That's awesome. 
Yeah, she's fantastic. Uh, let's go to Josh Kelsey. Thank you for donating twenty dollars, Josh. Appreciate it. Could have asked a question. Appreciate it. But yeah, we do. We do. Uh, Maddened Moose for twenty dollars says we experience the fourth dimension in a first dimensional way. Simply a line stretching from the distant past forwards to the future. It's cool right. to think about. It is. It, yeah, like, you know, we think we're so effing smart, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, we think do. We're so effing smart. You have, like, uh, what's his face? Uh, oh, Tyson. What's his name? Oh, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking Pluto's about. Pluto's not a planet guy. Pluto's not a planet fucker. Uh, you know, like, and, and I, I'll never forget. I, I'll, I saw a an Atlantic article back in the 90s said, science. We have it all figured out. What next? And it's like, <laughs> dude, you, mm. Ooh, you don't all that I know science. is that I know nothing. So Neil science deGrasse is Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That, Tyson. That, that that jackass. Obnoxious jackass. Uh, or Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill yeah, Nye. Bill he's, Nye. he's not even a scientist. Nye. Yeah, the not the science guy. Engineer. The jackass. The engineer guy. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're self-evolved simians. We're monkeys uh, playing in the dark. That's what we're doing. And yep. uh, we have some stuff figured out, but we like we made up a system to try to figure out the universe that we don't know a tenth of. So the right. physics that we rely on, which is great, it's a map, it's a good start, constantly has to change. There's yeah. things that blow it out of the water, you know, every, that, that becomes a paradigm shift. And then what, what's happening now is uh, not all scientists, by the way, just some, the ones in power, usually the ones in academia who like to sit on their ass and do nothing um don't like these paradigm shifts because it makes them look bad they have to their, their papers that you know their entire existence is wrapped up in being that phd at the end of their name and it really stops us from being curious so uh, again to go back to randall and graham and and uh, all, exactly what i thought stay of stay like, yep. curious like like you know be skeptical all day long but it doesn't mean you can't be open-minded about it you know, uh, and I, I do think that I, ever since I, uh, I I did take those hallucinogens, that like completely shifted my perspective on reality, like completely when I was young. Been there. Came out of it the other side going, my brain saw things differently, at least for that time, and then thought about it afterwards. And it, it, it just shows that there's this, you know, we don't know shit. We don't know shit. Uh, and it's good that we have the start of a roadmap, but we're starting to see academia, science, the system, uh, block us, uh, you know, it's, it, we're, we're, we were progressing so fast and now we've kind of, we've kind of stopped. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons for that. And it is institutions that are now stopping. Participation trophies. Yeah. Yep. Also helped. Just saying. Yeah. It's institutions that are stopping us. And you know what? Yeah. You got to ask a lot of crazy there, there's a lot of absolute wackos in in the UFO field and all these places. Every field, out, but there is in every field exactly. Every field, uh, it sh it shouldn't stop you from asking the questions. If they get shot down, they get shot down. So what? Uh, the Grizzly for twenty dollars. What do you think of uh, the alien sightings at Skinwalker Ranch? Do you think it might be some sort of hot spot for alien activity on Earth? I yes, I do because there's been too many if it's aliens yeah it's, uh, see, yeah. yeah it's ufos if it, it's is it aliens or oh it, my god that george that's Nass hold and that's something very interesting multiple times through this documentary they they made it very clear of course they had that tyson guy that uh, neil degrasse tyson on there who said it also but other people said it nap said it there's a difference between aliens and ufos people think that they hear ufo it's like alien it, but it's an unidentified uh aerial oh, no, phenomena the uap yeah. is what they call the it UAP now UAP is different right it's the newer version of it but that's really what it is though like a ufo it's an unidentified flying object or is it us a, visiting a, from the future well, we we also think that time is linear right i mean what is it if us visiting from the past well, who knows is it, uh we is it other dimensions is it, overlapping is it, is it, is it a is it, yeah is it another dimension overlapping 
tell or or some or some sort of entity is it that a bug it, flying that, across that the doesn't screen, exist you know? in yes. in our dimension like a it show? doesn't exist in our time that yeah. we see as time like right now time's moving forward it doesn't go right. backwards we're moving forward at least from our perspective is it demons it maybe it's satan maybe it's satan uh, a show for another day. We can go we can, uh, the UAPs from the Nimitz. We can really go over like what they were tracking and it's down by this Island near Mexico. And is there and is there a base from either us or something else that's just keeping an eye on us? You know, is Which, Alex Jones, right? Is, is it Alex interdimensional Jones? elves? Are that's they the, the dark the machine elves? elves, the machine elves. elves? Well, I mean, I think there is something to that when it comes to uh Explain. consciousness Explain. okay so they did Explain. the ayahuasca experiments on i think it's five or six people this is a government experiment they were allowed to do and they saw similar things they saw very 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 similar if not the same things they all saw machine elves they all were talking to a consciousness that was responding to them and maybe that's the key to it's it's like the psychic plane it's like professor x you know, when he fights on the psychic plane, yeah, it's, uh, it, plane it's like getting to a different frequency and there is life forms there. Is, is that it? I mean, it's just a question. Don't know. That Don't would make know. sense, though. Uh, would, would more more than this. Retrain our brain to see to perceive reality differently. Well, why but, did yeah. the Egyptians <laughs> worship the, the pineal gland? Right. And now mm -hmm. now we yep. we put fluoride in the water that cal calcifies it naturally. It's like, well, not naturally. But it does. And they're oh, it's good. It's like we need to put fluoride in the water for your teeth. Nah, man. I think they're trying to keep us numb. Does anybody drink tap water? I don't. Well, I, I drink from a, I I drink from a well. I drink from a well. Five hundred or three hundred feet. Southern California. We myself. never drink tap water. Like a tap water was shit. Yeah, tap water is gross. Mine you is filter that man. The best. Always dude. Filter. My tap water is amazing. Yeah. Different, filter different. Uh, we got cleaner water out there though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh yeah I, I i think it's it's a good question and i am open to all of them uh don breaker for 20 dollars says one of the only shows i've watched the action they actually got evidence is destination truth with josh gates especially the two episodes where he investigates the hoya bakui forest Bachu. Bachu forest it was so bad his camera refuses to go back to go back <gasps> was it was it josh gates josh gates yeah. Josh Gates. Yep. That's Destination scary. Truth. Oh, from 2007. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, it's been a while since I've seen that. Uh, Hayden75 for $20. Gary, uh, if you like lectures about figuring stuff out, check out uh, Die Hold Foundation on YouTube, 30 ish minute videos where the dude explains stuff from ancient times. He thinks he's uncovered interesting stuff to look at. And it's called Die Hold Foundation. Right on. I'm always opening to find new stuff because I've I've watched and listened to so much it's hard to find new stuff now. You like mm. rewatched it and in the paranormal the field, those mofos don't do audiobooks. They don't. I mean, you'll get dead. one here and there, but like, you know, I'd love to read more of Brian Forster's books, but I'd like them to be audiobooks or David Hatcher Childress. And they put out tons of books, and there's no free like you can't. Pay a dude to read your book. I'll do it. Shit. Uh, Ariosto Silva for $19.99. My postdoctoral advisor told me science evolves one funeral at a time. Uh, that's good. That's that, pretty that's good. True. That is true. That, that is, is true. absolutely true. Going to uh, wait for the next wave to come around. Bashy Washy for $50. <laughs> Hail, pal. Love bashing. Gary, if you're ever into gin, and it's D, it's D G I N, but gin, gin, uh, stories like and actual genius. encounters, I'm willing to drown you with some. Some of them might answer some of your questions. Also, hail, mom, and mom's fun. Cheers. Thank you very much. That's in the works, getting her uh, out of that place. Also, I think Garrett, Garrett and I got killed by a gin um in phasmophobia once we did did you yeah yeah in, in, in x-ray you were probably there too uh i just want to say oh no, wait no you were in the van i'm rooting for the gym <laughs> come on man you're on your team here this is like real life <laughs> the way we play fast yeah uh, bash yeah, really says, really cool 
getting it really close. Happy birthday, X today. Good. Oh, thank you, Bashi Washi. Eric K, happy birthday to you. Eric K. Eric, okay, Eric is like Eric K. Happy birthday! Even though you were slanting me in the first, chat, I saw it. Uh, yeah, well, Eric, keep it up, buddy. I love it. Um, <laughs> Don't Eric listen. missed his first Friday night tights ever uh, for very good reason. He had to take ever? care of dad. Ever, yeah, ever. It's a good reason. Uh, it wouldn't even have surprised me if he still He's made it. Apologize, I'm like, stop apologizing. Take care of your dad. It's all good. We love you, man. I hope your dad's okay. Yeah, I hope he's doing mm -hmm. all right. Um, and the beautiful, strong, powerful Gina Carano. Happy Gina birthday. Gina Carano. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Got, we love I Gina. My, I got my mini Gina here. Well, oh, man, you guys have, Gina. you guys have mini Genas. I don't have a mini Gina. Carrot, I carrot a mini Gina. Oh, I got, I got one of those. Do you want one? Garrett, I've got want, like. Yeah, I want one. one. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you one. You can't get these no more. You no, can, you dude. You go to cons. Oh, you can. You they're can? like triple no. the price. They're expensive. If you can even find one. So I still brand I bought, new. I'd have bought up a bunch. Look and, at that. It's uh, clean. I've been fully Love giving them away at meetups for, but I've got uh, one for you, Garrett. Oh. Okay. Aww. One day here. I will ask her to sign this. Right there. Gina, you're the best. Wait, can you see it? Yeah, there's one right there. Is the black I uh, really oh, yes. can't. I have to squint real hard. It's here. It's the box. It's that black box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There. And I got the there it is. statue. The um oh yeah. Oh, that's the a big, slightly larger yeah. one that I've got. I got the yeah, small. That's the black series. And then they did a yeah. repaint of the black series. They put it on a kind of an old school card. And then there's the smaller one, which is so like the OG size. Where'd she go? Mm -hmm. Like the OG three and three quarter. I I actually have the original Vader somewhere. I gotta find that. Like the collapsible. Oh, there she is. The, the little the little veil. Oh, I thought you were talking about like the Star She'll Wars. Return to my mic holder. someday very soon. She was on my mic. There she is. I'm, I've got a Vader. Oh, sorry, Gina. Uh, I was holding your butt. Um, <laughs> Scott gave it to me. Scott out there. That's not appropriate. I'm married. Um, okay, so uh, I mean, it's it's a three. And it's a it's an action figure. It's well, a, hey, it's hey, hey, somewhere oh, prison wallets oh, exist. <laughs> Uh, Two is years. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had this Gina Carano action figure. Okay. Two years. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Happy birthday, Gina! Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, Hayden seventy five is gifted twenty Nerdronic Live memberships for one hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit! Wait a minute. That's uh that toasty. deserves a toasty. Thank you very much. It does deserve throw your toasties in the That's, chat. We got toasties. We got toasties in the chat now. Mm -hmm. If you have your emotes, if you remember, like I'll I'll throw them in for Gary. Thank you. Throw them in there. If it wasn't for extra girl, I wouldn't have any emojis. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, the toasty came out great. Yeah, uh -huh. that was nice. Toasty. And it's just how it happens too. He slides in like toasty. Actually, I could just do it. Toasty. Or is it this side? Well, wait. It, no, it's this. It's this side. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for me. It this is my right, and it comes on the right side. But, but in on the screen, screen, it's actually yeah. Boop. The opposite way. I need to actually get that. I need to actually make that happen so I can actually have it appear. That would be. Dope. I can do that. I'll make you one for you. I like this guy. This guy's. You guys, get it's not right even here. my birthday. It it's not my birthday. It's his. It's her birthday. Oh, you guys are great. Well, she didn't ask for anything. Great. And, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just like hey, I didn't either, you guys. But you're you're fantastic. But on that note, um, <laughs> you you guys it are. Is, it is I, time. Well, I gotta. I I gotta. Dude, it's sunny outside. I gotta soak it up. Literally. It's still yeah. sunny outside. No, not right now. Oh. But actually, <laughs> you gotta go to sleep it, so you can it, wake in up. In the, the in the summertime. Like in the middle of the summer. Hold on, what time is it? So it's it's two forty right now, but in the summertime, the sun will start creeping up. Wow. At around at around right wow. now. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the, the, sky, the sky will lighten. No wonder you're so like, yeah, like in the winter. It's dark and cold. Oh my gosh. And... Yes, and yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's why it's I could never brutal. live in Europe, dude. Never. Ever, yeah. ever. Well, I'm not, I'm like above Europe. Like Europe's down there, you know. It's and I'm. Yeah, you're in the uh, Arctic Circle. Yeah, they mm -hmm. still use kroners here, which I find pretty base compared to the EU. Uh, anyway, <laughs> chat. 
you guys are the best. X-Ray, happy birthday. Thank you. You too. You guys rock. Seriously. You rock, Adam. Love I, lo- you, I love the show. Love you, bro. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna binge a shit out of this. Go, so I, go do it. I don't know. Go are we it. gonna continue this next week? Yes. Or are we gonna yes. okay? Okay. So I'm gonna yeah. Because I so, found so th- all three seasons. I'm season just... four comes out boom, boom, episodically boom, boom, boom. every week. So we're Wait, gonna do a little review. In two days the new one comes out. Yeah. Yep. Oh shit. Okay, so we're gonna do a review on the so I gotta binge it so all, we, baby. Yeah. Yep. What we're gonna do is like a portion of the show, we'll do a review and then we'll have another subject, folks. Okay. So well, we're... I got some homework. Chat. Love you guys. <laughs> all right. I'll Thanks see y'all next time. Thanks, Bye, Adam. Peace. Bye. Adam's awesome. We love, love Adam Krigler. Buy some Krigler coffee. <laughs> Jake D, my homie, for twenty dollars. And you're right, by the way. I don't know what the, I had it in my head that Vegas was sixteen hours, but it's like seventeen it's as and a far half. as San Diego because you have to go north. So, uh, yeah, it's eighteen hours. Oh, it's eighteen. Uh, that's hours. Okay, still oh, gonna your, do it. Your, yeah. No problem. No problem. Um, Josh Gates is doing a live show with a net and with oh, a meet, it says meet and greet in town on June 2nd. I'm going to be a freaking, uh, going to be a contact in the desert. Got tickets for me and the girlfriend. Not sure if you can make it due to F and T, but you should check it out. I will be in Palm Springs, my friend at, at contact in the yeah. desert, but uh, tell me how it is. Let me know. That sounds awesome. Uh, Blackguard Four, for has gifted ten nerdrotic memberships for fifty for fifty dollars. <laughs> Where'd you forget to do math? I did. A moment. She's hung over. Oh, you forget to do math. I am screwed. Uh, <laughs> Conbreaker, forty dollars. Two super chats says I suggested three Pacific episodes of Destruction Truth. You watch. One of them is the time he investigated UFOs flying over abandoned mines in Chile. At one point, they find an exit of the mines and they see a light across. Ooh, a canyon at one point. Their sound equipment, which is designed to pick up sound, starts emitting like a speaker, which it can't do. Oh. That gave me chills. Oh, that shit. That's awesome. Ooh. Quantum Sledgehammer for $10.59. That's very specific. Uh, thank you. Uh, hail Gary, quarter black, Adam, x-ray girl, a question for the group. The omnipotent being of your choice says you can have the answer to any one mystery of the universe. What is your question? Oh, well, my one question would be what happens after we die. But if it's God, then I think he already answered that. Uh, That's really tough. Just one question. Are there other civilizations in the universe? That's what I want to know. Mm. For a fact. Like right now, like statistically, it's very likely that there is other life in the universe. How intelligent it is or how advanced they are, who knows? I want to know is is there or was there at some point advanced civilization yeah what do you got oh boy one question i don't want to know if there's life after death that's not i don't want an answer to that i don't need an answer to that um i know there's life elsewhere whether we'll ever meet it or not i don't know because it's so far away oh I'd want to know if there was ancient civilizations. I, I think I'll be a little more grounded. He'd probably all that's mm. it. Uh, yep. Yep. Can people actually talk to the dead after they leave? I think mm, that's good. Interesting. Like, because they, they, you know, they could be kooks. You never know. I'm sure there are kooks, but there are some of them actually talking to someone. Who knows? Mm. Uh, good question, Quantum Sledgehammer. Yeah, that was a good one. I'd have to think about that. That's being put in. You have to answer one question. One. Life, the universe, and everything. Everything. It's 42, but... Well, we know the answer. We don't know what the question is. We don't know the question. Elijah Voller for $10. My dog of 15 years died last night. Oh, no. Got her when I was six. Named her America because I thought Captain America was the coolest. Any advice on on grief? Thanks. Uh, Feel it, Elijah? Mm Mm-hmm. 
avoiding it leads to trouble. Be sad. Miss your dog. Uh, it gets better. I remember when I lost my first dog. Bummed me out. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's with anything. I never you're, had another dog. Elijah, you're you're a youngster, I see. So you were six. Yeah. They had a dog 15 years. I can do math. It's 21. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. My dog died in my arms when I was oh. 14. Yeah. Oh, that hurts my heart. It was very traumatic. I never, I don't want another dog. I had my dog. But some people, they get another dog and that is their grief. You know, they get another dog, they love another yeah. dog, and it's kind of part of going through. Yeah, grief, I'm on my but... like fifth dog. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I miss all my dogs and they all have a special place in my heart, uh, mm -hmm. especially my first one. But um, yeah, you just got to feel it and it sucks. Yeah. yeah, you got to process that emotion and mm -hmm. it'll hit you when you least expect it sometimes just get triggered and and that's okay because I think if you experience in those emotions, then you will feel uh, better in the end. Yeah, and, and grief is good. Grief is good. They talked Part about that in Picard season three uh, when mm -hmm. Troy took away the grief from Riker. He was angry. Cause he's like, that's the last connection I had to my son. And you took that away. Oh. Uh, and you had no right to do that. And she had a, like, you know, she's like, I'm beta -zoid. I feel everybody's grief. It was hard for me too. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's your last connection to your dog. So that's you showing respect to your dog and love to your dog. So it's not bad. It's not bad. It's sad, but it's not bad. It's mm -hmm. not anything uh like drowning sorrows and booze and stuff like that that's that doesn't answer anything that doesn't help anything it's delaying it yep uh kevin clearly cleary for five dollars long time fnt and gg fan here woke waste uh here in woke wasteland portland eee. uh mm. just finished fingerprints starting magicians right after you got me hooked all hell yeah those books are great behind enemy lines that is good. That is yes. good to have have some people, some sane people out there. Get the hell out of there as fast as you can, though. Yeah, really. that's probably the best. It's probably yeah, <laughs> yeah. For uh, your sanity, probably. Yeah, Dave Grimes for five British pounds. Hail and happy birthday, Exodagu. You, Gary Stin Skinwalker Ranch is doing a live tour starting in May, and Travis did mm -hmm. an yeah. interview on Rick, Rick and Bubba. I'm gonna watch that interview. And it's up north. It they, they do it in regions, so they'll eventually it's like hit. Detroit, Milwaukee, Ohio. So it's the, Illinois, it's the, maybe is another. One. It's the Midwest right now. Yeah. And then they'll hit the south, and they'll, they'll hit different regions as the season goes on, because that's what uh, Ancient Aliens did. And if they come to Texas, yeah. we're gonna go. Uh, the Bob that God made mad for nine ninety nine. The Manhattan po Project cost the same as a fleet of ships, and the government kept it secret to the point that the Vice President and Congress didn't know about it. They can keep secrets fairly well. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Uh, what, the first thing is to not tell any politicians, which yeah. they don't do. They had a whole uh, city for the Manhattan Project, man, and they kept that a secret. It's possible. John F., for two dollars, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, Don Breaker for another twenty dollars says the other two episodes are the forest one I mentioned, then the episode he goes to the haunted doll island in Mexico where he captures a doll opening its eyes. Oh, yeah, that doll island is creepy. That is as creepy. Hell. What's a doll island? What the fuck is that? How come I've not it's, heard of uh, that? What, what, is it in Mexico? Is that, what, is that what they said? It's a whole yeah. island. That I, I don't know if it's like a tradition or something or like a person that is just crazy, but they hang up dolls in the trees and it is like full of dolls. It's like all, all around the tree trunks and on the hanging from the trees and they're in the path. And that's weird. It's all over this house that's there. And yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. 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 Ooh. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, I like action figures. I mean, my action figures do that too, you know, when the camera goes off. Hey, you have a whole doll room just like Yeah. But mine called it a doll. <laughs> it's a doll room. I don't give a shit. Uh, Blackguard 4 for $20. If you could get the answer to one uh, mystery follow-up, whatever 
The answer is the opposite happens. If it if it was false, it didn't exist. If it becomes true, it exists now, and vice versa. What uh, what do you ask about now? Well, that's why I'm like, oh no. If you ask like, why are we here, and then you get some oh, like enigmatic answer that we can't understand, it's like oh, I just fucking wasted that question. So I, that's why I want to ask something specific. <laughs> like, was Atlanta the real? Uh, how'd they build the pyramids? Oh, that's a good one. A good one. How the that fuck is a good they one. Fucking build the pyramids. Just tell me that one. Okay. I'll, I'll, the other stuff, whatever. You know, if there's life after death, I'll find out or I won't. Uh, Hayden 75 for $50. Hayden. I lost my 12 year old Husky back in November. My third dog. Every dog is an individual. And if you get another, it's not a replacement. Uh, it still hits me randomly that he is around much love to pet lovers. Remember the good times. Remember the doggos and the cats. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm a pet lover. I am too. The one pet me that too. I have. Well, from now, like the 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 last pet. Well, we're I'm about to lose a couple more. So just, yeah, I got two older. really really old dogs. One of them's blind, and it's kind of funny, but <laughs> he's still got oh, lots of spunk. He's a good guy. One. He's a good looking. Yeah, yeah, Gomez. Uh, Parker, she's got cancer, so she doesn't have long. Uh, but uh, I am really into it. Like this might sound weird, burying my own pets now because the last one who died, I buried my own pet. It was all, all almost all of my therapy. childhood pets are buried in the backyard of my parents' house. Yeah, all together. I will. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money or anything. I will bury my own pet. Uh, show them that much respect. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it sucks, but it doesn't keep you from getting like dogs are awesome. Dogs are brilliant. I, I'm done with cats, but uh, dogs are awesome. James Meeks for nine ninety nine quarter black. I'm surprised that you haven't talked about the forty k lore and what you guys talk about. We have lost and forgotten their technology of the past and are on at a quest to reclaim it. I don't know that much about the 40k lore. I'm like at skim surface of the iceberg. According so to Michael Moorcock, a lot of the 40k lore is borrowed from him. <laughs> he does not like 40k. He does not like them. He did the Elric books. Yeah. Does he do like science fiction stuff as well? Yeah, he does. Or do they still? Okay. Because I haven't, I haven't read any Moorcock stuff outside of Elric. Well, Elric is... Uh... It's like a lot of fantasies based on. It's not like he invented this, mm -hmm. but a lot of the Targaryen stuff, a lot of uh, the darker, like um, Elric is from a civilization that's. I mean, they're practically vampires, uh, and uh, they second like Hellboy movie. Yeah, they're, that they're character was like built. ten thousand years old, and it's super advanced for their world. But they've forgotten how to use. Like uh, they have these giant yeah. ships; they don't know how to build anymore. They use them. And if they lose one, they're fucked. Yeah. Uh, but they're still, they still can, um, but they're a waning empire and the barbarian kingdoms are starting to feel that, right? They have a giant like maze to their, I think it's they, so they, they still do trade, right? But you have to navigate through a maze to get to the Emerald City or not Emerald City. Why did I say that? The Ruby City. Uh, yeah, and then they trick own. people yeah. into like going in there, the bandits that try and come in. Yeah, yeah. Trick them into going into the maze and getting lost and attacking him and he becomes kind of like a him. wandering warrior it's really fucking cool it's really cool but um it's not emerald though that was fucking wizard of oz uh <laughs> black guard four for twenty dollars i have uh ha have or will you showcase or cover the philadelphia experiment yes yes i've read that book uh huh, a lot um whether or not it's true i don't care it's such an interesting story about either time travel or dimensional shifting yeah and uh I mean, like whether it's true or not, the ship it supposedly happened on got sold to Greece. It was sold to Greece and it was much lighter when it got there than when it left. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff about that. I love the Philadelphia experiment. It's a great. Yeah, concept. it's a really cool story, at yeah. least. I, I'm, I'm with the <clears throat> him. Like if it's true or not, I don't care. It's a cool story. Uh, Southeastern Kaiju for two dollars. Happy birthday, Exodus girl. Thank you. Thank you. you. Uh, North American ham rammer for five dollars. What's up, Gary? Ham rammer is the Icelandic word for shapeshifter. Skinwalker, really? Wendigo, werewolf. You know, I didn't know what Wendigo was. 
until I read a whole comic book. Okay. Uh, Werewolf, Berserker. In Sheboygan, you'll be close to Hodag. Skull. Skull to you. Uh, Night Variant for $5. Hail, longtime lurker. Love uh, Forbidden Frontier. We need Hecklefish guest. Okay, so Hecklefish is a guest. Uh, learned wife is pregnant with third kid catching up to my boy Garrett. Jeremy. Nice. <laughs> sucks. Jeremy sucks. JK199. There you go. I came out of nowhere. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't. I mean, Jeremy sucks, but we love him. Uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't suck. Uh, the Iron Omega for five dollars. X ray versus QBJ in oh, oh, G. <laughs> My G, bad. G, uh, in 40k. When I don't when? even know if you play tabletop, do you? I've not played it yet because I don't have anybody to play with. Oh, uh, two UK, newbies, two newbies playing in the UK, the origins of uh -huh. 40k. I think it's time. I think, I think we should. Time. We'll have time. Nathan Sherwood for five dollars. Thank you, uh, Gary. Have you ever read the Luther Strode series? It's pretty good. I know what it is, but I have not read it. No, I'll have to check it out. Uh, Mr. Gentleman for ten dollars. Moving cold spots, unpredictability, playing on fears, tight, uh, tied by ancient spirituality are common to demonic activity, especially to uh, Pentecostal Christians. Some is familiar to my personal experience. Well, I mean, like, I, uh, poltergeists are bad. They're not fun. They're not good. And they do very conscious, like, usually it's pranky things, but then it can get bad. Um, <clears throat> Jimmy Touchdown for $5. Oh, we got something from the geek realm in this one. Uh, thoughts on John Campia ripping off geeks and gamers and changing his channel name to grifters and groomers. Uh, did he do that? <laughs> oh, that's I'm, more his brand though. It makes more sense for his brand. It, it does. John Campia. Uh, he misses Robert Mar Burnett. I know that, uh, best time is now for $10. People have, uh, Hey, me and John will be in the same town during our meetup. Wonderful. We'll run into each other. Mm. he's welcome to come to the meetup i'd be happy to talk to him best time is now for ten dollars uh people have had real injuries including uh transient radiation burns real instrument instrumentation has captured many things at this point we can't deny the ranch is the real deal yeah it's there's something weird going on that's nobody the question is, nobody is close to answering it <laughs> but it has definitely got something weird going on something is happening for sure but what is the question is there like some kind of deposit of some mineral mixed with um something right you know uh some is mineral it, is it some kind of radiation that we haven't figured out how to detect yet who knows possibly maybe yeah we haven't figured it out yet that's unique to that area uh yeah. what is unique to that area is there's dinosaur bones everywhere there's tons of fossil fuels so it's it's over a, a very what used to be lush and filled with life. It's kind of a desert area that's over. Who knows? But yeah, th there's a bunch of fracking there. There's tons of hydrocarbons, gas, the oil, mm -hmm. and yet and, it, and it's known for you like dinosaur bones fucking everywhere. So like, a you know a former catastrophe from the past. Who knows? Who knows? And can that have long-lasting effects? We all know that Yellowstone, the caldera, is over what's called a hot spot. That hot spot on Earth doesn't move. The, the crust moves over it. So it's a stationary hot spot on the Earth. What caused that? John F. for $5. I worked on a home on Skinwalker Ranch about five years ago. That was the first time I have heard of it because the guy working with me told me about it. No shit. Hmm. Nothing happened. Anything there, weird yeah. happened? Did you just get to the job? He's all. By the way, <laughs> you might want to know about this place. Don't dig. And you're like, where'd all my fucking tools go? Uh, Dragon Swarm for twenty dollars. Gary, recommendation for the show: 
pattern of evidence. Hercules walks through the archaeological evidence of the Exodus actually happening. Oh, Hercules from like Hercules the show. Um, yeah, yeah, not not the Hercules. I thought he was talking not about like an organization or something. No. Uh, Blue Ball Spare for 10 Australian dollars. When did the Native Americans curse those lands? Do you think they just made up that folklore to keep people away? Well, they used to do that a lot. Maybe. Um, but no, there's there's legit grievances. Like uh, Navajo were enslaving uh, the Utes. And they didn't appreciate it. Uh, the Navajo felt like the Utes were turncoats for working with the American government. Uh, you know who else worked up there? Buffalo soldiers. Buffalo soldiers. They were all part of the, the, the fort that was established. The Utes got completely fucked over, like most Native Americans did. They were initially given a big swath of land. They had to move from their original mm -hmm. land to this drier land by Abe Lincoln. And he said, this land is yours in perpetuity forever until they found oil. Once yeah, they started like, finding yeah, oil, yeah. corporations petitioned yeah. the government and they started eroding away at the Utes land. So, uh, yeah, it's been contentious. It's been very contentious. Uh, Jeff Robinson for four ninety nine. the ranch undergirds jeff keel's thesis that ufo and paranormal activity have one common source i i don't think so i don't think so i think they're they could be related but i don't think i i, I think that's us we are trying to we want to make sense of this we want to be logical about it we want it to make sense i don't think we can conceive of what it is right now i even if we were shown it would be like you know the first native americans who saw a ship who've never seen a giant ship if that's even true but i'm just using it as an analogy because i think they knew what a ship was i think there were ships long before that but the, that being said they have canoes it's not an outrageous idea for yeah to, so if they see the bigger you, one. you know or somebody's been in the rainforest all their life completely cut off and they see that first plane it's like well, what the that's just a big bird. We're all just babies, all right? We don't have yeah. no concept of what's going on outside. I just had my kid, you know, he's turned one. He spent his whole life so far in a house, you know? And then he starts going out into the world. There's a whole world out there that he has no clue what's going on, and he can't explain it. So there's things in this universe that we cannot explain because we do not know them yet. We don't, we don't have know. a way to just conceive. Like, even if we saw it, we'd go, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Don't know how to comprehend it. Well, that, that's part of it is like maybe we are seeing entities like piercing the veil of reality or they are the yeah, people who are just like this stuff at, at, and are whatever they look like our brain cannot it literally can't process it so it processes it as a giant dog or right. something to that effect bright yeah. lights bad mm -hmm. adam 12 for ten dollars check out the suspicious observers here on youtube the earth catastrophe cycle uh 2019 original series playlist connects with randall carlson and graham hancock have been talking about it. earth turns on its side yeah uh i am aware of that one that's fascinating and it would explain why siberia was warm and north america was basically an ice cap it was like the poles the north pole it shifts it doesn't make sense pole shift mm -hmm. mm. skinwalking what porn site did chris pool own Dave Cass Quesadilla for a dollar ninety nine. Is that Tim Pool's brother? I am not. I don't know. I know his brother and him got in some trouble or so. They've gotten an argument. Whatever. Some Norwegian guy for one hundred and nineteen Norwegian krona. Have you guys heard of the Hesdalen lights? No. I know the the lights at Brown Mountain. Those are weird. They actually have those on video. Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte for five dollars from the grave. Uh, who gave a speech on getting shot by alien blaster, lost fingers, murdered in the sleep by uh, men in black? Love you all. Who gave a speech on that? We must have been somebody we were talking about. That. Oh, it was uh, no, I know who you're talking about. It is the okay, hang on, hang on, hang on.
I've done show so following. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. lost on this. Uh, 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 you get I'm, the Hesdalen lights, though. That's pretty freaking he's, cool and phenomenal. He's in Norway, yeah. Uh, Dulce Base. The Dulce Dulce Base. What was this guy's name? He was like a heavy set guy. He uh, supposedly killed himself. John Lear's involved in it. I'll know his name when I see it. Bill Schneider. Bill Schneider. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Bill Schneider. Yeah, he lost uh, some figures. Supposedly he was in a firefight with aliens, all that stuff. In the that's a, It's an underground base in New Mexico. Uh, Rhino Helix for $10. A football coach in college once overheard a conversation where they were having about God and the devil existing at atomic level. He called me and, and asked <laughs> if I was taking LSD, thinking for yourself, never encouraged. Nope. Um, people got to stamp that out. For some reason, mesas uh, throughout the Southwest light up. Yeah, it, that is true. So, it is weird, but there, maybe there's something, some mineral deposit that reacts to something else that makes it light up, makes it phosphorescent. You never know. There could be a... And just because it's a scientific explanation, they figure something out, doesn't make it extraordinary sometimes. There's a lot of weird shit. Uh, Russell Hale, uh, Hall, sorry, for $2. Do skinwalkers like peanut butter? Asking for a friend. Well, if dogs like it, yeah. Like, would that, would Wait, if, if a skinwalker came up and you gave him a bit, well, I'm not asking for that. But if you gave him like a spoon of peanut, you ever give your dog a spoon of peanut butter? Well, and they go, I love it. And they just freaking lick forever. That's funny. But I don't think that's what Russell's talking about. I think Russell's talking about putting <gasps> peanut butter, peanut butter, um, something else. Uh, this, 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 Russell, a little freaky. A little freaky. Oh, my God. Hey, that's okay. Uh, you do that over there in jail. I don't think you want a skinwalker <laughs> licking peanut butter off. Uh, <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Not a, a witch? good idea. No. <clears throat> I got teeth. <laughs> what are you up to? The, the funniest thing is the next super chat. <laughs> uh, Mr. Peckerwood. Speaking of that, Mr. Peckerwood for five dollars. <laughs> out ten biggest wolves you won't believe are real by Tall Tannic here on YouTube. Wolves can get big. I know that. Uh, Weston eight four eight seven for two dollars. Efap said sixty five was crap. Paraphrasing, of course. Well, yeah, of course you're paraphrasing because EFAP said it in like four hours that they said it's crap. Uh, yeah, at least <clears throat> said what's crap? Uh, sixty-five. Oh yeah, it it's okay. It's like the B movie kind. Yeah, of. that you know they go more into like structure of the script and whatnot, but yeah, it's, it's basically a B movie. Hey, Jay is bored. Got his wish for five dollars. Krigler, can you stop talking when others are speaking? <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> We're over at him. Uh, David Casada for a dollar ninety nine. There's a mirage that happens on Catalina Island. Which one? Which mirage? It it looked like a mirage, but like, and I'm sure there could be a scientific explanation. But it was pretty fucking weird. I thought it was the most extraordinary footage in the documentary, and they just kind of blow past it. It's right past. Yeah. Uh, I'm a former Catholic. The show is my new Sunday mass says Mal V for five fifty five. There you go. Thank you. But don't turn your back on spirituality. It's a good thing. Uh, Jimmy touchdown for five dollars. I went to Skinwalker Ranch and woke up on the campia casting couch. He forced me to sign an NDA. Scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same couch that uh, Garrett had to do his audition on? Oh, my. I had to move the couch. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mal V for 555. Uh, I was told by as native Navajo skinwalkers feign injury as animals or humans to lure in their prey. At like as? Like Arizona. Like, <laughs> That's like uh, as? This is uh, Arizona native. Arizona native Navajo. Okay, I'm like sitting there. Why, why would I was about to say, how does that connect to that? ass? <laughs> <laughs> um, so they feign injury to lure you in. Yeah, that makes sense. Trickeries. The tricksters. Well, that's a that's a name that got used a lot in the in the, in the series, but mostly in the documentary. Trickster. Mm -hmm. uh, Optics Prime for five dollars. Phil Schneider blew the whistle on the 
D-U-M-B, the dumb, and used to publicly speak back in the 90s until after 13 attempts on his life, he was finally killed. Yeah, he killed himself by wrapping a cord around his neck while sitting down. That's uh, <clears throat> it's a weird way to kill yourself. It's a weird way to go. Very Clinton way uh... to kill yourself. It's very Arkansas. Slain Hope for $2. Google Earth Ranch. Thousands of oil drills stop there. Yes, there, there's, well, you could see oil drills and you could see also frack. I mean, like, look at, uh, what's insane is look at a satellite image of, of Texas and look at all the fucking oil wells. Oh, really? And then there's the fracking up north. Uh, it's insane. Yeah. It covers an insane amount of land. Jacob, for $2, please be more objective. I, I, I'm going to try to be as objective as I can. I, but, um, I can only be me. Sorry. Well, we're not scientists in the field, so we don't have any objects to be objective with. So we're just yeah. talking about interesting stories and things, uh, you know, be, have more fun, love, have a little bit more fun. I, I think, yeah, I, I th it would be really cool if some of this yeah. shit was real. I don't, I'm not sure yet. No. I, the only things I can say might be real are the things that security cameras caught on the show. Like uh, even the instrument stuff that happens there, that could be manipulated. So that's going to, that's not, that, that, that removes my sure it happened or mostly sure it happened. That's interesting, but it could be fake. I think it's good that we ask these questions yep. too. But like with all the ufo accounts if one percent of them is true it's the biggest story of all time and i'm pretty sure one percent is true uh adam young for five dollars have you if you ever need backup adam i'm some of a paranormal podcaster myself there you go <laughs> gary's beard crabs i told you i had those taken care of okay they're my pets they're in, i have a beard crab circus now uh, any idea how far Skinwalker is from Mel's Hole? Oh, that's a good question. Mel's Hole. Good old Mel's Hole. Let's Where's Mel's Hole? Out. Let's find out what the location is. That was Oregon. The Skinwalker is yeah. northern Utah. Uh... Oh, it's uh, it's uh, Washington. State? Mel's Which Hole Washington? is, according to urban legend, a bottomless pit near Els Elsenburg, Washington. Oh, the state. Is there a picture of Mel's Hall? It's the internet. Uh, there's YouTube videos. Yeah, um, I remember like Mel's Hall, like they talked about it all the time on Art Bell. I'm not sure I entirely believed it, but one night Air, Art Bell got like, we uh, tonight we have actual sound from hell, and it was like really creepy. It was like whoever did it, I'm like, damn, that's spooky. It was good. Okay. It sounded like a thousand souls crying out in eternity, internal pain. It did. Uh, I'm sure some of you in Art Bell remember the sounds from hell. Uh, David Nelson for $1.99. George Knapp is easy to get a hold of. Call KLAS. Is he? <laughs> um, I would love to talk to George. I'd talk to Jeremy, too. I'd talk to Jeremy Corbell all day long. Does he do like a call-in show? Is that what you're saying? Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Really Maybe cool. You just call his news station. Well, you can leave him tips and stuff, but I'm not going to call him at his radio station or his TV. Hey, here's station. a tip: be hey, on our show, bro. Totally come on my like live stream. He'll be like, "Fuck you." Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, screws lose thirteen for a dollar ninety nine. Work super sticker. You work. Uh, Joseph Benowitz for five dollars. Dugway Proving Grounds military install base is about 250 miles west of Skinwalker Ranch. Two uh, unofficial Area 52. Yes, I knew there mm -hmm. was uh, uh, like they essentially had once Area 51 got on the map and everybody knew they moved it. Now S4 mm -hmm. is still there. S4 is still there, and they've never admitted that it's still there, but it's still there. But a lot of other experimental stuff that's more linear, they moved to Utah. I know that. I just didn't know where mm -hmm. in that place. 
Uh, Gizmo Surplus for $5. Missing 411 has two movies on YouTube going over possible tunnels and connection with missing people. Ooh, is it some I haven't seen? Because I think I've seen them all. I think I've seen them all, but he keeps making them, which good. Uh, the Grizzly for $5. They found the alien mothership buried in the mountain. Quick, somebody call Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum. We should. I thought you were going to say Tommy Lee Jones. I was going to say Tommy Lee Jones, too. Uh, Weston 487 on the Streamlabs side for $5. Three years ago on Easter, my brother showed me the secret of Skinwalker. Then he showed me your channel, and I've been hooked since. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, bro. Welcome. Welcome down the rabbit hole. Uh, for everyone, do you believe in the ET origins of humans? The odd rock formations on Mars are something to look into. Myth Randier for $5. Yeah, uh. I believe there was life on Mars. I believe it got utterly wiped out. Was it the explosion of another planet that made the asteroid belt that knocked it off its orbit? Who knows? There was a big gash on the side of Mars. Is that tectonic or did something put it there? Who knows? But it used to be covered in water and there's still water there. War Wizard for $1.99. Lore Lodge mentioned wanting to come on FF. Cool. Put it on Wait, for list. real? I like Lore Lodge. I'll put it on the list. You know Lore Lodge? Get it on. Uh, I mean, I watch oh, weird. Sorry, I no. Is this like a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's a, a, a YouTube channel. He was the one that had the conversation with the archaeologist that was trying to debunk Graham. They had a, a whole interview where they talked about it. It was a really cool. good interview. Cool, thank you. Adam Young says, happy birthday, X-Ray Girl, for $2. Thank you, Adam. Jose. I talked to Jose uh, yesterday. I used to think George Lucas, uh, I used to think it was George Lucas Ranch, LOL. Oh, oh Skywalker Ranch, not Skinwalker Ranch. Oh, I've my been, gosh. <laughs> I have been to Skywalker Ranch, my friend. I met George Lucas mean. there. It's a real thing? Yeah. yeah. Skywalker Ranch is where George it's Lucas, off, you know what? They do it's all off the Lucas, Lucas Road in, uh, up in uh, Marin County. Oh, that is cool. It's a total accident. It's a total accident that Lucas. So pretty. Wait, really? Oh, didn't, I thought he commissioned the city or something. No, yeah. no. It's it's Lucas Road. It's like Lucas Road. But it's, awesome. it's a total accident. Oh, uh, the statue at the front with the little garden of Yoda. Yeah, pretty rad. The archives are there, pretty too. Rad. Does he still own that land or did he sell that with to Disney with the rest of no Lucas Luke film? I think he still owns Skywalker Ranch he sold Lucasfilm which when he bought the Presidio that's how fucking rich okay. he was he bought the most expensive plot of land in California it's a bougie looking house holy crap oh, yes. it's a yeah well yeah. he's got the entire UA library in that building United oh. Artists Library so I mean like books that so, the library is so cool looking it's fucking insane it's so oh my good. god star wars prop archives are there everywhere wow Tons and of he's stuff. got like original ple pieces of art that like just like millions of dollars worth of art just on the walls everywhere yeah it's yep. nuts it's really i cool. went into where they recorded um the soundtracks for all the prequels with john williams really yep Yep, 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 yep. Fanboys uh, was an awesome movie. <laughs> they broke Night into variant it. for two dollars. Can drunk three PO get uh, Hecklefish on as a guest? I'll ask drunk if he can. Uh, the Grizzly for five dollars. What is a Skinwalker anyway? I heard the term a couple of times. Is it specifically a Southwest thing or a regional phenomenon? Oh, a, a previous super chatter. It's similar to other mythological. It's not a creature. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a shapeshifter. It is a witch doctor shapeshifter. And, you, and they're bad news. You don't want to cross one. Uh, they're completely evil. Football frequency for $20. When my dad was young, he would go to a bar in Kansas City. Men used to bother an old guy there, but my dad didn't. Uh, he told my dad Area 51 is probably named after the number of alien bodies they had there. The man was... Clarence Kelly, second FBI director. Holy shit. Well, George Knapp talked about uh, recently on, on weaponized Area 51, and he, and he brought out some like information about 
the Lazar thing that he never brought out before, and it's other people he has talked to. And one guy who just who worked at Area 51 said, yeah, we've got an alien body here. We can't communicate with the guy. They eventually could. Well, he's alive. It wasn't a gray room. He described it. It's hilarious because even George Knapp starts laughing. He's all. He looked like. Like a little Ross Perot with giant ears. Like a little old man. I gotta look up Ross Perot. Ross, he ran for president in the nineties. He's the reason Clinton fucking oh, he was won. A baby in the nineties. Okay, so you want to know how Bill Clinton beat George Bush? Ross Perot ran. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what percentage of the vote Bill Clinton won on? I think it's like thirty. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Thirty-five percent of the vote. Thirty-five. <laughs> if that's how the alien looks, that they're so cute, little little Ross. Little Ross Perot. It was thirty-three percent. Thank you. Yeah. Did you guys know that that Bill Clinton mm -mm. won on thirty-three percent of the vote? Really? Oh, Ross Perot came in and split the Republican vote. Uh, Ross Perot came um, in and uh, and if he didn't fuck up towards the end, he could have won. Imagine that little little gray dude, big ears. Ross Bush Perot. Senior fucking sucked too. He's worse. I was all for Ross Perot back then. I wanted Perot to win, uh, and then he did it again in the second election. Now I think it was a higher percentage. Clinton won, but it was still like Clinton never won with a majority percentage both of his presidencies. But Bush and Clinton are the fucking same thing. There was like yeah. no. That, that's one that like because I was uniparty getting older, and I'm like I don't see a difference. I don't really see a difference. Media really tried to make it, them except for I mean even back though. then I'm like well you know 19 year old that's a little old for all of them isn't it? But no, you know what it did like I remember the Monica Lewinsky thing. People are like whatever. Who cares if the president gets a blowjob? Honestly, I don't care. I don't care. But what bothered me later, because at the time I'm like, I don't give a shit. Who gives a fuck? Um, but what bothered me later is when I had a 19-year-old kid. And I went, mm -hmm. yeah, fuck him. Y you see it from a different perspective. You see that, like. It was like the, py the power. Monica Lewinsky is a woke idiot, but she was, a, she was a child. She was a fucking child. It's gross. It's fucking disgusting. But that was obviously too old for Clinton, too. Uh, Anthony DeAndre for 25 Canadian pesos. Most Scooby-Doo episodes uh, and many scary 1940s movies always ended with the supernatural forces turning into a greedy human being. Could Skinwalker be front to keep people away from hidden riches? Now, I mean, they own the land outright. Yeah. Like, there's, like, if, they, if, like if it was going to be a front for something, it would be to screw the Utes out of fucking more land which is surrounding the area. The only human element I would think is it's the Utes fucking with white people. That would make sense. <laughs> like it's all the Utes. Like the, the whole time. They think it's a fucking UFO. <laughs> <laughs> Running out in the middle of the night. Cutting up cattle. Funny. No, but no, like they, they get a bunch of stories. Like the adjacent ranches that are like that are you own, they 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 have tons of stories too. They they, they all get along. Yeah, and they in the documentary they talk about the people that aren't on the Skinwalker Ranch and their stories. And what's different about this? I could be wrong. Brandon Fugel could be watching right now and say this guy's full of shit. But I've seen a couple of his tweets. One of them he had to delete right away. I think he's like based. That's why I like him. All yeah. right. Because like uh, somebody was calling him out the, his scientific method out. He's all, listen, dude, I I I paid top dollar, uh, more than what the government can spend, on on top scientists here, on like real put people on real scientific analysis. And quite frankly, we live in a time where we can't trust any institution, any uh, the mainstream media. And he went off, and I'm like, oh fuck yeah, I like this guy. But he, I'm sure history made him, or he thought better of it, because he's got yeah, other and, then... and I get it. But just to see it for a moment, I was like, "Hi, right, buddy." <laughs> uh, I was fine. Uh, but yeah, I, like, yes, they do drama it up. It is a show. 
they have to do that. They drama it up. Really drama. There's a whole episode about breaking through a concrete wall and them investigating the pile of probably just rat bones. And they were like, what What are these? How did the rat get, get in, in there? there? It was a sealed a fucking room. It was concrete. It was concrete sealed. A rat couldn't have gone in there. I don't know. It was a concrete. I need to see, I need to see every corner box. of that room. Yeah, I mean, like, it was a nothing. There could be a crack. But what led to it was they kept fucking hearing shit in the house, remember? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. they kept on hearing shit in the house. And that was was the house the caretakers live in. Yep. And one of the caretakers is one of Brandon's oldest friends. So that's why, you know. And and he's he's got it. He's uh, got his own profession on his own. And I believe the uh, his, I think it's his girlfriend, wife, whatever, anthropologist. So, you know. They're dummies. Um, and uh, yeah, they kept on hearing shit in the house. Uh, so in simplistic terms, skinwalkers are a different version of werewolves. Kind of, yeah. Very simplistic. Uh, similar capabilities, shape-shifting, but different modes, reasons for shifting. Yeah, like a werewolf shifts because it's, uh, you know, the moon's out. And mm-hmm. the, the in theory, the, the skinwalker can consciously shift. Think of it if like it's a uh, witch. They can do it like they want. Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, something like that. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence was the first alien discovered at Area 51, says Jonah. <laughs> Five dollars. That is true. That is a fact. That is an absolute fact. We know this. Uh, Hecklefish is my spirit animal, says Bubba Doom for Five dollars. I thought I was. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm a little hurt right now. Drama. Right here. If I had a heart, it would be hurt. I just say. All right, that's the end of the show. Uh, I I can't wait till Tuesday, man. I've been looking forward to this. What time does the watch episode the rest drop? Of the season tonight. So probably like uh, six p.m. Pacific. It'd be nine Eastern. Would be my guess. Okay. Yeah, that's your I homework, if, people. Watch that. Say, can I watch all three seasons in one day? I watched <laughs> all of season one basically in a day. Okay. I was playing Resident Evil 2 and okay. watching it at the same time. Oh, okay. I'll do that while I clean. Yeah, you can listen to it. and It's good to watch it, though, because you get to see all like their... The, 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 the yeah, if you go to the History Channel, you can get Season 1 on YouTube for free. Ooh. Go to the History YouTube, and yeah, there is yeah, so, uh, full episodes of season one of The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. Season one is on YouTube, and it's on Netflix. Season one, two, and three are on HistoryChannel.com and Hulu. So you can watch it there. Oh, now it says buy. Why does it say buy when I could just click on it right here, and I got the whole... Stop, don't do that. You can rent it on Amazon... Mm. Oh no, that's an app. Wait, wait, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna do something else. No, you got to buy that one. So you can get the first episode. You can get the first okay. episode for free, and okay. you get some highlights and stuff. Uh, no, there's episode seven right there. That doesn't say buy. Keep, search, because it looks like you can get the full s- first season for free. I'd have to use a VPN. I, I watched it on HistoryChannel.com, and I didn't have a problem. It may have been the you first You got episode. Hulu. It's all there. And and the uh, Hunt for Skinwalker Ranch is on Hulu. It's available for rental on Prime and here on, on Amazon Prime or YouTube. Uh, and probably, you know, it might be on Pluto or what. I, I have no idea. But uh, lots of places to watch it, but trying to save you a few bucks. You know, watch the stuff for free if you can. Uh, I know some historychannel.com. You, you can watch it on there for free. There you go. All the seasons. Probably some ads, but it's they free. have like they have free. ads, but it's ads, and you're not giving money to to Hulu. So yeah, yeah there or, we go. Or YouTube. The or tubes. YouTube. Pop a YouTube. Discovery Plus. There you go. All right, uh, somebody's all arg. Yeah, uh, you can arg too. That too, but you're not giving them support. Yep. I mean, we kind of want to support this show, like. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm for supporting the show. So I think the best way to support it would be go to History Channel. Go to the actual channel and just give them some clicks there. You don't have to pay anything. Just got to sit through some fucking ads. 
Uh, Damn, that's... So, yeah, we're going to cover more of it next week. We'll probably, oh, wait. Nope. 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 I'm going to shut Not next up. week. I'm going to shut up. Uh, we don't know when. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to be. Well, I, if, if we can get Krigler nailed down, I can do a show earlier or later. We just got to get Krigler to like, because he streams every day or something like that. I don't know. Monday and Tuesday are his stream days. He also Saturday, has every morning he does the the uh, side scrollers. Yes. Yep. Yep. Like, like Saturday. I could do Saturday. I could do Saturday. I mean, I got a pack and I got to make sure I had that True. video done, but uh, I think I'll be done by then. What, once we know, we'll let you guys yeah, know. Yeah, keep um, an eye on the community section. We're gonna, and our Twitter FF show official. We're going to miss. We might not miss next Sunday. At least I might not. Because I think I'm I'm driving to Scottsdale and staying the night. So I, I don't know. I'll keep you posted. But like for the next two Sundays, we're probably going to miss a show. And we're going to do a makeup show. So there'll be one show in between that week. Not sure what day. We'll figure yeah. it out. I'll let you know. Life of a YouTuber. I can't plan. If I plan something, it's something else will happen. Uh, that's the way it goes. My wife loves it. I ever tell you my, how much my wife loves it? Like, oh, she absolutely. <laughs> She's a planner. Loves it. I know. <laughs> I told her like I can't do anything till Vegas. I've got to work. I've got to like it. She's like, but we have a field trip. Don't you want to go on a field trip with your son? I'm like, yeah, but I just said I can't do anything. So now I feel bad. Thanks. Oh, no. <laughs> and she's all, that's the point. Women. So you feel bad. So I feel bad. And she doesn't give a shit. Uh, no, it's funny. Uh, what did you vote for Dave Mustaine? I vote for Dave for staying. Hook up with Razor Fist. I'm going to. We're, we've got Razor oh, Fist coming on Friday. This Friday. Yeah. yeah. Got Razor Fist coming up Friday. Um, I'd love for him to come out to the meetup, but I know he doesn't do a lot of public stuff for, yeah, that's for true. good reason. But I will, again, extend an invitation to, to have him out. I don't know if Vegas is his thing, uh, but um, I would love to, to meet that guy in person. Me too. Mm -hmm. Love Razor Fist. Hey, and also you guys out there in the chat, you should be following the Nerdrotic Instagram because this dropped today. Sunday Swag Day. Oh, And yeah. check that out. Yep. So that looks follow. good. I don't know if you, you know, I think the, the running for this one's already gone, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. Well, I mean, follow. It's Sunday. It's still Sunday Swag Day. Go follow. See what happens. Oh, yeah. All you have to do is follow. Nothing mm -hmm. else. Nothing else. Nothing else. How easy is that? Uh, these will also be available, I believe, at Asheville, right? So we're going to yes. have these available at... Uh, that is correct. At nice. Cosmic Summit. Get yourself a trucker hat. A trucker hat. Space trucking. I love how she put that in the space trucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Space trucking. Oh, my God. It's so good when they did that in Ash vs. Evil Dead in the first episode. Yeah, I love that episode. They end it with uh, that... They, all the music they the end. first episode so great because it was Sam Raimi directed that one. He spent the most time on that first episode. Oh, it's, it's a, a true sequel. It's like a yeah. straight up sequel uh, to Army of Darkness, right? Yep. Uh, Evil Dead, Army of Darkness. Ash is living in a trailer. I mean, like it's perfect. That's what you expect it's him perfect. to be still working at S Mart. Yeah. Um, he's older because he's only a, he's only a hero when there's deadites around and he has to kill some stuff. Otherwise. He's a little pathetic. He's a little pathetic. You know, just a little bit. And he wakes up the deadites smoking and a little ganja. Yeah. That's oh, so good. Girl. I love that fucking show. <laughs> wow. I love that show. Okay. <laughs> so funny. Dude, the end of the first episode. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Greatest trilogy of all time. Well, yep. now it's like a quadrilogy. Quadrilogy? You count the TV show. I do. Garrett, what you got coming up? I have, what is it, Sunday? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we have Based F Mondays on Adam Krigler's channel 
And on Ryan's channel, we have the Harry Potter stream. Oh, that's about right. some Harry that's Potter. Fun. That's going to be fun. So is the internet ready for me and Ryan and you and Blabs to I don't gush know. about Harry Potter? <laughs> I don't know. Always. I don't know. Always. But we're, I'm ready. I'm ready. I was told I hate everything, but uh, <laughs> whatever. Oh, what about do you got people that don't actually watch our content? Oh, I know. Yeah, that that helps. They just look at my thumbnails. Yeah. I mean, if I just looked at my thumbnails and didn't watch the videos, I'd probably feel the same way. <laughs> uh, Gary, will those hats be available for sale? Good, sir. Yes. Yes. We're, 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 our website's pretty close. Well. Uh, Yell down the hallway. Ask him. Yeah. Son, uh, our website's getting close to being done, and that's where uh, our store will be. Uh, we're also going to have at the FNT meetup. We're going to uh, we're getting down to the wire, uh, but we're going to have our the FNT poster on shirts. So yes, Ooh. I got new shirts dropping too. So come to the meetup. Uh, did I you see the stuff. RSVP number on that? I guess you did because you dropped it in the Discord. Oh, the yeah. number of people who RSVP'd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, shit. almost maxed out yeah yeah that's oh i can't wait unexpected <laughs> and what about the people who show like brian's all what about the people who show up who didn't rsvp i'm all i didn't no. think about that yeah. <laughs> some people rsvp and don't come so no, we'll just, happen, yeah. so. worry about it what happens i mean that's whatever usually. happens hey there's a parking lot outside we can hang yeah, out we can hang out quite frankly there was always what 40 people yeah. outside, outside. yeah anyway smoking cigarettes and chilling and that's gonna out. be where the food is right taco trucks out the there gonna be there and i was thinking about moving the merch out there too oh, oh. that's actually gonna do so we could have more room, there, room. Though. yeah it's not gonna be no no did you check the weather i don't know it's not in <laughs> august it, it's gonna be like 65 degrees that's hot night. well it's hot compared to here well, you're in that's Canada. not hot it's like sweatshirt weather. You're like you like snowy all the time. Or sweatshirts. Dang. Well, let me let me check this in uh oppressive units. Oppressive units. Oppressive units. Common units. Thank you, Mila, for that. <laughs> oppressive and freedom units. 18. Oh, well, that's still warm. I think it's warm. It's not as hot as I thought it would be. Anyway, no. it's gonna be nice. Come come see us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The weather's looking good. I mean it could change, but it's looking pretty good. Like 75, oh. 80 during the day. 65 at night freaking great sounds great Beautiful. uh all right what do you got coming up x-ray girl uh tomorrow i'm taking the day off to relax and catch up with life and then i'll probably be playing conan on my channel uh x-ray girl youtube rumble locals and uh yeah um, i'm excited for vegas a right, week and right. a half away for me vegas yes i could leave Third right annual. now Oh, I wasn't so damn tired. I could leave right now, but I'll be ready again tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still got a week. Shit to do. All right. Uh, I don't know what I have coming up. I have nothing planned. I uh, did nothing today. Well, I did a bunch of like BBC, real BBC. Yeah, BBC coming. Yeah, but I mean, video wise, I I have no idea oh. what I'm gonna do video on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. Tomorrow. Something will I'm happen. Sure, Disney will do something stupid. Yeah. Highlight. uh but no I, I had to do a bunch of we're just getting our that personal stuff all fixed up so i can have a a, fo a functioning phone that i can live stream from nice that's gonna help mm -hmm. that'll be you get like a gimbal you yeah know? Oh, like yeah. all the little g and g girls run around with i'm gonna look like <laughs> a g and g girl yeah it'd be awesome <laughs> great <laughs> uh we got uh we got some team building stuff for us built a uh, book for Thursday and uh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Uh, one more week of work then two days to prep to head to Vegas on that Monday. Can't wait. Hey, Hayden. Yeah. Can't wait to meet yeah. you. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll see you next time folks. One Whenever more. the show will be, I mean, but when Vegas is over, we'll be back to being Sundays, but just, just uh, you should do a small meetup in Scottsdale. If I had time, I had time, but we're going to basically be sleeping, waking up, and leaving. Thanks, Mal. But if you're in Scottsdale, you just come to Vegas. You're not yeah. that far. Come on. Come on, bro. Go across the, over the dam. Over the dam. Over the dam. <laughs>
Hoover Dam. All right. Ciao, everyone. See ya. Bye.